And then we're going to... Hello. We're going... Hey. Yeah, do it. We normally have music. Ah, there it is. There it is. And then I was going to do this one. Oh, oh, oh. We we're here. And Halloween 1978. Ah, such a fine year. I didn't know how to do it, this one. Yeah. And yeah. then it also kills. It kills. I didn't know how to do this because it's like I didn't want to put Halloween twice. Halloween. Halloween. Halloween, you know, Halloween and Halloween kills. Like I didn't really want to do that. The night he came home. This this is like a whole different kind of thing for me now, man. Like the way I see these movies. Like I'm like, well, first of all, I understand why Halloween is the shit. Dude. <laughs> like yeah. No. And it was it was like one of the original like slasher movies. I was looking I it, it up is, like I think it is the first the first step. Like, the first step. First yeah. time we Because we, um, we didn't get like Friday the thirteenth until the eighties or we didn't get Nightmare on Elm Street until eighty four. Eighty four, yeah. Um Chase, uh Friday the thirteenth is nineteen eighty. Oh, was it 80? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, actually, sometimes I think it might be 79, actually. But I think it's 80. And then, uh, you know, you're right. But then, because then you get, like, Chucky and, and you, know, well, you had Freddy, Chucky, and, like, all those, like, Pinhead. You start getting all the yeah. really crazy, gothic things coming in. The, like, supernatural slasher supernatural, killers. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Taking yeah. the next step. Yeah. Yo, um, I like this new. I like the way we do it. I like, the, I like this new, new way. Because now... Dude, and... This is my first time viewing both these movies. I had never seen Halloween before, the original. You had never seen it. Oh, okay. Never seen it. Um, I sorry. Ow. I since we're like since we just figured something out. Um, as you said about Halloween Kills. Um, you know, I I, I think like you know you watch movies in order or whatever because they they came out before you're born. So you know yeah. you watch them how it goes. And um, like well, like Nightmare on Elm Street. I got I watched four. It was my first one. Um, I watched um, Friday the Thirteenth uh, Part Seven first. That was my first introduction to Jason. Um, Ch- Child's Play, no, Child's Play. I saw one, two, and three in order. Um, and then, and then um, Halloween. I because I've seen them in order, like in chrono- Like when I got when I got introduced to them, I got I saw them all in order. They, yeah. I didn't this this go around, man. <sighs> well, hello everybody. How are we doing? Hey. Oh, there's hello. other people here. Crazy. Hello. Ben. Hey CJ. It's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brown. Sorry, we haven't done five a podcast weeks since yet. you looked at me. <laughs> no, it's been three weeks since we did a podcast. I'm kind of missing my best friend. You got us. Oh, I forgot. I totally forgot when we when we uh, when we finished this. Just remind me. We were talking about the Rhode Island. And I yeah. gotta tell you about my Scott Schiaffo story. But remind me, because I, I have the I have a photo here, but I was like, uh, I forgot to um, what do you call it? Forgot to tell you what we're warming up. We talked for about an hour because we had, we we hadn't talked to each yeah. other. So we were <laughs> like, dude, let's let's hang out. Let's just chill. Let's just. And then I I'm I'm been on the ball now because I'm like, you know what? I need to get get better at this. Uh, so I had everything ready, and uh, so now we can just hang out. But uh, yeah, because here's my here's my Scott Schiaffo photo. Dude, he's pretty all, all badass. And then we went to, uh, and then I went to Rhode Island. So I wanted Some nice chops. You. He's he's graying in real nice there. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, he's got a he's got a badass like, he's got long ass hair. He looks like, dude at the panel. He looks like a rock star. He's a rock star actually. But I wanted to see if I could show share this with the with the class. I wanted to share. Let's do a little screen sharing. I don't, I don't think I have anything here that I could need to make sure nobody sees. Yeah, I don't care. All right, let's see. Let's do the screen sharing. Let's see if I'm gonna get this down. I want to share the yes, uh, this one right here. Let's see. Do you see that? Yeah. See what that is? See what that is? It looks familiar. Oh, How are you doing? How you going, John? Where are you calling from? Austin, Texas. Oh wow, very good. They want to take a picture of us. Is that okay? Cool, cool. <coughs> All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, perfect. Enjoy the chat. Tell me about things in Texas. Uh, I just pause it there. But uh, who is that? That is John Carpenter. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, dude. I I'm did not it. gonna lie, dude. After Wes Craven, I thought he was he had already passed. Nah, dude. He's still kicking, dude. He's still Whoa, that's awesome. Man. Yeah, dude. What? I interviewed him. Did, uh, did you ask him what he thought about the new Halloween movie? Man, you know, so check this out. Because Rob Zombie had one, and then they just redid it in 2018. So, sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you're right, you're right. Um, what was the one prior to Halloween Kills? What was it called? Halloween. 
It was just straight Halloween, yeah. Halloween kills, and then okay. So check this out. Um, this probably, as me as a, like a natural journalist, not like a, I'm a professional or anything, or just an interviewer. That was probably I sucked at that one the best, the like the the worst because I fanboyed out. I yeah. had all my had all my notes, had all my notes and everything ready to talk to him. I was ready, but I was like, holy shit, it's John Carpenter. And in the interview. Like I'll post it eventually. Um, I basically just say I just wanted to say I got to meet John Carpenter. <laughs> like that's a bad boy <laughs> of me, you know. Like because I because I, I just finished watching Ghost of Mars. Yeah, and uh, man, Ice Cube was, like, was in that, right? Yeah, yeah. Ice no, Cube. no, no, it's Ice Cube. Okay, Jason Strahan and uh, Natasha Hensky, I believe. And um, and let me make sure. Uh, now I'm like, going to bother uh, me. J- right. Jason Statham is definitely in it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know I about just, the girl. Yeah, yeah, I want to make sure I get her right. But no, but um, I, I was watching that movie and I wanted to tell him, I just wanted to tell him, I was like, I just recently saw it. I just saw it uh, like a week or two before I met him. And um, I was like, dude, you know what that movie should have been? Like, this should have been how they made uh, Resident Evil should have been made like this. Like, because mm-hmm. it, it's like told, it's told um, in stories. And uh, like, you get the, you get the, what do you call it? Hear it. Let's see, let's see. Here you go. Ghost of, Ghost of Mars, sorry. It's a crazy mm-hmm. movie too. Like you, you get it from a bunch of different angles, and like the deaths are pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, Hinstridge, Natasha Hinstridge, Ice Cube, and Pam Greer. Yeah, this movie's awesome, dude. Pam that, Greer. She's has, in it, Halloween Kills, right? Uh, no, you're thinking that's a no, no, that's a um, Judy Greer, isn't it? Oh, okay, that's, that's right. Yeah, um, but uh, but yeah, but um, I got to meet John Carpenter, and it was, and it was just pretty cool. It's like it's like, dude, so you just. Could talk to him for a little bit, and you know, I fanboyed out. It's okay. I'm learning. I was learning still, and uh, but outside of that, I'll say that dude, it was pretty cool just to ask him a couple of little, little cool questions here. But man, he was, he's, he, he's, it was just cool. Like I don't know, you are sharing the same time. Like it's like it's like if you're getting to get to hang out with Da Vinci or something for a little bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, just for a little bit. I just wanted to try it, and and then I'm like from one filmmaker to another filmmaker. I just want to say that thank you, you know, because like I'm like I watch a lot of your stuff. Um, but like watching Halloween, man, I, 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 I laugh about the fact that there's that meme that says, um, it says, uh, John Carpenter, like it shows him like at the convention, like at a panel and it says, John Carpenter, what do you think about the, the Halloween remakes? And he goes, well, this is what happens. Well, I get a phone call. The phone rings. So he goes, the phone rings. I pick it up. They say, Hey, we're making a sequel. I say, okay. I hang up. And a couple weeks later, the checks are the mail. It's the darndest thing. <laughs> so he's like the money's coming in you make as many as you want yeah because he's the, his thing is you make something him and sean cunningham is what i got from both of them uh the producer of uh the creator of uh friday 13th mm-hmm. i um i got that they're like whatever you do just make sure it's yours you own it like like john carpenter owns all of it and um so that way when they go when the studio starts shopping around you always get a cut Mm. And that's the trick. That's what John. That's what John Carpenter has been doing. You know, every, I shouldn't be talking about this over the year. I should be charging, but this is what we bring you at side by side. <laughs> we bring you free info. Free info. So, power. so all our thirty-seven subscribers know the secret now. Yes. Yeah. In a row. Hey, I, I honestly think in a row. <laughs> thank you, subscribers. Thank you for people that listen to us. I appreciate it. I'm starting to understand the whole like you know like people following you. I get it. The I'm not. I don't like like labels like influencer but i do like support so it's cool people like tell me like hey i like your show i like it when like my friends do like from high school will reach out to me and be like hey um like great keep your show up it's cool i do like that they say like you just talk about movies that's so cool <laughs> like all right but uh, so thank you everybody start to uh, start getting the patreon going and everybody could uh can you know contribute or something whatever What's give up? us money <laughs> now oh, no her, her, her. Uh, uh, so it was interesting that you mentioned Ghost of Mars, uh, and I just looked up when it was released, and it was released in 2001, and there were two other movies about Mars that were released in 2000 and 2001. Uh, it's called Mission to Mars and Red Planet. Both yes. of them had very ominous feelings to them, just like Ghost of Mars, right? And I think that's very interesting that John, Copper- John Carpenter said that, is like, make sure it's yours. Because I think it even says on the title of that movie, it's like John Carpenter's Ghost of Mars, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you think, and this is just me kind of thinking here, do you think that he was, he had that script out there and then like other companies were like, oh, this is a good script. We can retool this and make it our own. 
kind of thing. And that's where you got Mission to Mars and Red Planet. Because essentially, uh, it's they're they're all kind of the same story, like awakening something that's on Mars. It's oh. we're not the first people there, uh, you know, like colonizing Mars kind of thing. I'm trying to um, remember. Red Planet was the one with Tom Sizemore and Val Kilmer. Yes, and then Mission to Mars with with Gary Sinise, I believe. Oh yes, yeah, and Tim Don Robbins. Cheadle. Tim oh, Robbins. Tim Robbins, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think Don Cheadle's the so Red Planet, yes, and then let me get these up real quick because yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, uh, and, I well, and that. This. And that happens, man. Like you'll you'll see there they'll they'll have movies that are similar, you know, uh, that come out in the same year. And uh, and um, volcano, yeah, they do that. Yeah, and then impact, exactly. deep impact, and um, Armageddon. Armageddon, yeah. You know, and, and it's uh, like which one of these is gonna win? It's almost like they 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 take a script, and they're like, okay, well, you can write a screenplay. That's like this, you know, and you can. Write it, was, it was it was it was Mars. It was a red mission to Mars. Mission, mission to Mars. Mars. Yeah. That was bothering me. Are you going? But it's it's almost like you know the studios are given a script, or they or, or or you know how people are like, oh, I pitched it to this studio and this studio and this studio, and they're like, that was a good idea. Let's get our writers on that, and then we'll make it our own. You know, they do that. Yeah. So yeah, so I just thought that was that's kind of interesting that you you see similar movies coming out around the same time. And then you just kind of wonder yourself, like, I wonder like how, how that happened. Cause it's by, it's typically by different studios and also different companies. Me remember this Futurama <clears throat> came out when 98, 99, 99, 99. And it's right before the 2000s so of the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, cause but remember the future is now. Yeah. And, um, and if you think about it, this movie's two red times, 2000 and mission to Mars is 2000, right? And then John uh, goes on Mars is 2001. Well, I think there'll also be studios will be like, what are people want, wanting to buy right now? Space movies. All right, let's get them going. Let's make them. Let's make them happen. Because um, what do you call it? They're um, what do you call it? They're uh, there's people are going to spend money. Sorry, I'm watching Halloween right now. And it's like the kill scene. I'm like, I, I got to talk about the kill scene. Dude, it, Halloween was legitimately scary. It was like it, it built that tension so well. Like, let's let's jump into it. Let's jump I mean, into I'm, it. I'm, so, I'm, so I'm, I'm down for this conversation, and I think it's a valid one that there's a lot of meat to. But Halloween, the original 1978, the the amount of tension that's brought up, the way the story is told, like you see Michael, like you're you're seeing him peer into like his sister. Like, do you think he had a crush on his sister or something? We, we I gotta, we're gonna have to like look up Michael Myers, um, you know, story. But hello, we're here on side by side. The hey. show we take two movies and put them next together. They always have something uh, in common. Today we're doing Halloween and Halloween Kills. Halloween. And what two do these have? What do these have in common? I thought, and honestly, I honestly thought that, that this one was um, like the second. Because I thought I read somewhere that Halloween Kills was the sequel to this. It's the sequel to it is. <laughs> it is, but the not 2018 to this one. Yeah, Halloween. So I, but I, I, I have to rewatch. I guess we <laughs> we kind of threw it off a little bit. Yeah, we did. But here's the cool thing: is like this is a, it is a sequel to this though, because you you go back to the first movie in this in Halloween Kills, like you you get glimpses of that the end of the first movie, and I'm assuming parts of the second movie because you have uh, the doctor out there. I don't know if they show that in Halloween too. Like uh, Doctor, was it Doctor Loomis? Is that what Loomis, his name yeah. is? Yeah, where he's like outside trying to to bargain with him, or if it's just like I, I don't know. Because so, because so, so let me let me talk about the the intros and then I will get to it. Yeah, Halloween, it. 1978, rated R, one hour and 31 minutes. It is a horror thriller. 15 years after murdering his sister on Halloween 9, 1963, Michael Myers, groovy baby, <laughs> escapes <laughs> from a uh, mental hospital and returns to the small town of uh, Haddonfield, Illinois, to kill again. Director John Carpenter, writer John Carpenter, De uh, Deborah Hill. Stars Donald Pleasance, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Tony Moran. We're going to compare that to 2021's, um, well, what did I do here? Sorry. Halloween Kills. Let's see. Sorry, I messed this up. Here we go. 2021, rated R, one hour, 45 minutes. Uh, horror thriller, the saga of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode continues in the next thrilling ca uh, chapter of the Halloween series. Uh, David Gordon Green is the director. Writers, John Carpenter, Deborah Hill, Scott Thames. 
Danny McBride. That's our boy. <laughs> yeah. And David Gordon Green, which I thought it was great that it, David Gordon Green directed and wrote the movie too with them. Stars Jamie Lee Curtis, Judy Greer, and Andy uh, Mat Matichak. Uh, so go go into it, bro. You're you're already landing in. Let's do this. Where's the where's the boom? Boom. Okay. So Halloween, legitimately scary, man. I mean, it really. So I have one question I asked to you: Do you think he had a crush on his sister? Do you think like? I don't know, honestly, dude. I am so confused. What the fuck, Mike Myers is? I have no idea what he is. And maybe, maybe that's what makes him so scary. Is just like you don't know, like you don't know what his motivation is. He's just killing people. You know, maybe that's. I, I, I mean, it just makes it seem like, like honestly, like you're right. I don't. I didn't. I have. I have here Halloween 2018 because I didn't. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I. I had to read through it. I just read through it, and I honestly can't remember what I read through. It was a while back, but. Um, I read through it and was like, okay, I, I know that they like locked him in the basement and that's where you kind of start off. Like this movie is immediately after, I guess, Halloween 2018 ends. Oh, yeah. uh, so, uh, yeah, so, man, it's, it's, I'm, not, it's, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play the trailer real quick and I'm like, I'm going to zone and I'm playing. I was just thinking about it. I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, so if they, okay, so they're just, they just literally re re revived or rebooted Michael Myers Halloween. Yep. This this is what they did. So this is why John Carpenter is all happy because he's getting that money. Okay, I well, get it. And and then well, yeah, because they had what was it like? Ooh, I don't know. Wild bags. Rob Zombie did a Halloween, and that was like super gory from what I heard. Yeah, I would imagine. And yeah, then no, he it, had it, a, he had a sequel, and then it just kind of petered out. And then this one, I think the 2018 Halloween is supposed to be like a sequel to the original like everything after the first halloween so, is so, omitted and then so, this one so basically one and then this halloween 20 so 1970 is one halloween 2018 uh -huh. is two Halloween yep. kills is three and then there's this fourth one basically yeah and that's that's how this like it, the revamp is starting because apparently it was like 40 years michael myers hasn't been back about it and laurie strode has been arming to the teeth and getting all her stuff together and her you know, her daughter is pushed away because she wants to protect her and help her and all this other stuff and all about it, yada, yada, yada. And so that's that's kind of the what what I read. That's that's kind of the feeling I got from it. Well, um, uh, to answer the question um, that I've been avoiding, does he in love with his sister? Um, We're dealing with mental health here. Um, yeah. I got to say, I've been trying to I'm, I'm open about it. I'm, I'm uh but I don't. I feel more. I feel more of that in the Halloween Kills than I do in Halloween. What I got. What I love about Halloween is the cat and mouse game. Mm -hmm. It's like it's so slow. Like it's like it, it's also like I like that it's a timepiece now. As it aged, it's aging so well. Like it's like you kind of want to go back to that time, even though you, I've never lived there. You know. Yeah. And um, and it's just it, it's <laughs> such a cool. Like it's like the first like forty five minutes is like nothing. Like it's just back. story. Back but when it, teenage girls never wore bras. Ah, the days. What are you um, talking about? Yeah, now we got 30, 40 year olds. <laughs> uh, what do you call There's those, those are those teenage girls now. They still don't wear bras. Um, no, yeah, I just think with the with this movie, like it, it sets the stone. Like, especially for 1978. Think about what they're talking, mm -hmm. think about what's going on. Come on. I'm like, like I've been saying, like, I've been, I've been revolting like, lately because I'm like, this is like, there's a lot of good movies out there, but, but if the society doesn't want to watch them, you know, it well, just, kind of sucks. And this one I broke mean, through, you know? And they, they even had like the, the sheriff starter smoking weed and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I thought, I, I was like, okay, okay, this, this is like a, all right, there you go, movie. And then it's, it's almost, <laughs> there you go, movie. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> anyway, hey, hey, that's a, you're a good movie. Oh, good movie. Uh no uh, I was gonna say and then you you also have like this this almost you know I doubt this is like the original slasher movie I think Psycho would essentially be that one right Oh yeah that's like a that's a crazy ass one I don't know it seems the slashers like uh, yeah that's a good one that's fine let, that, me, let me keep, keep talking I'll look it up yeah it, yeah yeah because and but I mean Halloween is like that 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 kind of classic like okay you have the well this one this one is the first one i'm assuming uh i could be wrong that deals with like teenagers like he's stalking teenagers well i mean kind of thing. you know like because a psycho like a, yeah I don't know. well, well no, and, oh, i'm later. just oh that's the 50s 
Yeah. Oh, and even then, like, okay, we'll we'll just say in our mind in this side by side podcast, this is the original. All right. We're just gonna say that. It may be wrong, but we're saying it today. All right. We'll correct ourselves later. We learn, we grow. Um, but this is the original. You have them smoking weed, you have them, you know, having sex and doing all that stuff. And you know, this is like the original, this kind of like what Cabin in the Woods is kind of getting at. It's like the transgressions you know you have the one you have the reefer smoking girl who's she's gonna get knocked off you have the two kids having sex boom got it and then you have Lori strode the virgin you know and so yeah so you stay a virgin you'll survive yeah exactly and you know she doesn't have any transgressions anything like that so she's she's good to go she's uh she's set but um yeah dude it's just like the tension is real in this movie. Like it, it's, it's, um, Michael, Michael Myers doesn't have to do a whole lot in this one. He's not, he's not doing an excessive amount of killing like he does in Halloween kills. Um, oh, dude, there's, a, there's a reason it's called Halloween kills, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm I, knew, I was you, ready for that. And, and you know, as I'm watching it right here, I'm watching the part where they, where Lori finds all the bodies. Then by the way, Jamie Lee Curtis is so beautiful. Like as like she's pretty in this movie. Like uh, like you want to see her like struggle, you want to see her in pain, but you want to see her survive. Yeah. Like, you go for like the other girls kind of the other the other characters, the other actresses. Um let's give them a little shout outs. Let's see who we got up in here. Like it's I don't remember a lot of their names, but let's see. Nancy Keys is Annie. PG Souls is Linda. Yeah, she's the one that gets choked. Lindsay's the little girl. And then there's Tommy, uh Brian Brand Andrews, and this is Kyle Richards plays Lindsay. Which is crazy. The Tommy character, he comes back in, in, in you know, Halloween Kills. Mm-hmm. And then, um, what was I going to say? So the Michael Myers in this one, it says it's Tony Moran. It says age 23 next to his name. I don't know what that means. But then there's Dr. Loomis played by Donald Pleasance. So, like, this is, like, you got you got some great acting in it. But uh, the whole thing about this movie, like, it's just, like, Michael Myers, what I'm also getting was with the bodies, the way he, like, puts the bodies up. He just likes to kill. Yeah. He's just, I, I, so I feel that Michael Myers is just, like, he can be... Like it's, a, it's just a murderer. That's it. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's a demon or uh, a, a, a character or like some kind of like he's done some spell or whatever, because he's freaking strong and like he's, he, I don't know. He's just pure evil, CJ. Evil, right? All right, and an evil dies tonight. Evil. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So let's 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 I, let's talk about it. Should we have called it Halloween Kills or Halloween Evil Dies Tonight? Because they just say that shit to the whole movie. I was like, they should have called Dude, it that. Dude, I have to say with Halloween Kills. I think the story is solid. I think the acting is solid. I think the writing is overdone. I, 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 I'm going to say, like, let's just talk about both of them. Let's mix this one up. Yeah, let's mix I, it up because... I'll tell you, so you like you like Halloween, right? The first one? Yeah, no, I thought that was... Uh, the dialogue was good. You know, it wasn't too much. It was more of just like that... That it's scary, dude. To find. Yeah, it's, dude, it's, it's like... It's scary, dude. It's like someone's chasing someone. Something just come at It's like, have yes. you seen it? Close? It follows? No. Have you seen it? I no, it's, no. It's got that feel to it. Like, it follows has this feel. Like, it's a, it's a, it's crazy. Because, like, yeah, like, like, I'm watching her being chased and the damn thing's just coming right at you. Like, what the fuck do you do? This is scary. Yeah. Um, you know, and, yeah, Tommy's there and he, he's got to go open the door for her. Uh, yeah, and then you have that whole element where you have this kid and she's trying to protect this kid and he's like, there's a boogeyman, you know, and he sees, he sees Michael throughout the day, too. I, that's the whole thing, right? Like people don't even like they don't believe you, man. That's no. what that's what my that's what my abuelita movie is gonna be. There's parts of that in it. Like people don't want to believe you, and and it's crazy, dude. Like t- she's literally like like he's like it sucks that he's over there. Like look the boogeyman. Like shut up, Tommy. And, and she's been feeling it all day too. Like she gets those vibes. She's been having those vibes all day. But as soon as he says it, he's she's like no, and it almost like she dismisses everything she's been feeling, all that creepiness she's been feeling, seeing yeah. the same guy, you know, it's, and it's, it's yeah. But I'm saying, like in 1978, I'm pretty sure this shit was happening, anyways. Like this, this story is an original story for, for a movie, but I'm pretty sure they, they created it by like something else, like something that really happened. And man, yeah, imagine well, just somebody fucking following you. Like that shit's insane. Like well, you know. And and this is like this this is the time of the height of serial killers. Like you're gonna have your Bundys, your yeah, uh, John Wayne Gacy's, and oh uh, man, the more I hear about John Wayne Gacy, the more it just this disturbs me, man. That one really yeah. disturbs the fuck out of me. Um, but Halloween Kills, um, did you, is it a thumbs up, thumbs down? What you like? What you, you don't like it? Um, it's, it's not that I didn't like it. Uh, it's kind of the review that everybody I talked to kind of had is like, did I, did I like it? 
Yeah. Did I have fun watching it? Yeah. Did I think it was a good movie? Eh. Eh. You know, it, it honestly, you probably didn't even need this movie. You could have just had Halloween and Halloween ends because it just seems like this this is just kind of like dragging out a sequel uh, or a, tr- a trilogy. You know, like this is like a movie that had to be made to get to the next movie kind of thing. And it really I don't feel like it. Ah. Uh, I feel like it was a good, fun story, but did it add anything to it? Mm, no, you know, I, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, feel like it really did. It, it's, it's a, this is a almost two hour movie that could have been, you know, summed up in the first thirty minutes of Halloween ends. You know, that's that's a pretty good review. Um, I, I, but I, 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 like see, I could totally see that. It's a fun romp though, dude. Like it's a fun like this would this is a good Halloween movie. Like it's it really is. Like this is a good like scary. Uh it's it's I don't even know if it's really scary. It's more of a gory movie. It's it, I didn't really feel scared whenever I watched Halloween Kills as compared to how I felt watching Halloween. I felt nervous watching Halloween. I was like, "Oh, this sh- you know, shit's about to go down." Like I don't I'm not real big on uh, watching like the violent those jump scares, I hate them. I hate them. Uh, so if it, if I ever feel like there's going to be a jump scare, I'm like pulling my hat down, like trying to cover my eyes and <laughs> turn the volume down, stuff like that. I'm just a real wimp when it comes to that. Halloween Kills didn't have a lot of jump scares in it, um, and I think that's that's kind of the essence of Halloween. You know, is like or the the Halloween movie is like it's just tension building, and this this one is just like, um. It's just trying to explain too much. Uh, the The best way I can describe how I felt about Halloween Kills is kind of how I feel about um, the Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. I know I brought this movie up many. Oh times. God, you would love to just bash this one in. I do, go, man. man. And, and don't get me wrong. Okay, so but that's the thing is they did it themselves. They were the one doing it because it was like oh mummies you know oh no mummies not mummies i've dealt with mummies before <laughs> you know like well haven't you ever seen a mummy before you know like they just keep on bringing it up dude and that's kind of how i feel about halloween kills it's like this is michael myers we're dealing with you know like don't you know it's evil dies tonight evil dies evil tonight dies like tonight. you know a friend at work he saw it and he was like what'd you think i was like eh, it wasn't bad and he's like yeah well don't you forget the evil dies tonight and i was like ah, <laughs> you know it's like he don't he, he don't yeah don't, don't you forget it buddy um but yeah man it's uh, maybe if we watched the 2018 halloween i heard a lot of people really enjoyed that movie so this may you know it may be like oh i watched that and then watch this and you'll have a even better time but even even watching the 1978 version compared to this one i feel like I didn't really need to watch Halloween, the 2018 version. Like I needed to know what was going on with Michael down in the basement. But even then, like that just kind of works itself. Like he's out of the basement. Cool. And they even kind of, they even say it later. They're like, Oh, we killed him. Don't worry. He's dead. You know? And Laurie Strode thinks he's dead until like the last 20 minutes, Yeah, dude. you know? And that's, that's crazy to me. Like, that's another thing too, is like Laurie Strode is nowhere to be seen in this movie. It's just like, a continuation of the characters from Halloween uh, 2018 that you meet and then they all die. And then I guess we're going to have the third one where Laurie Strode kills Mike and Myers. And maybe we'll see. Um, I guess it's going to be a question mark. Uh, and, you know, I just got to say that evil didn't die tonight. Uh, way to go. Well, okay. So, damn, you really lean into it. That's good. Dude. Yeah. I sorry. Like, that's what we're here for. We're here. That's what we're here about. Um, do, I'll take uh, a breath now. What do you think? What do you think? I what do you do? What do you think? I did I like it or what do you think? What do you what do I think you thought of it? Yeah, I think you thoroughly enjoyed it. I think you did. This is this is a this is a popcorn movie, and and you really enjoy popcorn movies. Oh yes. You know you know, you're you you're know you're me. you know me. You keep yeah going. man. You know me. You know me. Like. You're you're gonna enjoy that uh that kind of not goofiness, but like they're trying to be so serious it kind of comes off as goofy. Like that's that's kind of what you get later on in your nightmare on Elm Street franchise, just like a whole <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's just like 
craziness. And it starts off crazy, but it gets even more ludicrous. And that's um, that's where I kind of feel like this movie is. Uh, Anthony Michael Hall, I think, was a, a great choice for Tommy. Uh, I like he that they brought the me. sheriff. He annoys me, man. You're right. I know, but I think he's supposed to. No, he's supposed to. He's supposed to. Um, I like that they had the old sheriff in this one. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was that was Hawkins. a good callback. It's like everybody deserves one good scare on Halloween. Oh, that guy. Cool. Yes, yes, that guy. Yeah, go. That you guy. know, like I, I thought it was cool callbacks. I think it's it's almost like, you know, like it's 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 a forty year old movie in two thousand eighteen. Well. You know, yeah. and so you're you're having these callbacks. So people that are going back and watching the original, it's almost like that that meme of Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, where he's drinking the beer, smoking the cigarette, and points to the TV screen. You yeah. know, like I feel like that's what this movie is all about: is just getting that kind of uh, um, that kind of reaction out of people. Is like, oh, I know what that is. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a good callback. You know. Um, I think I'm getting pretty close to the end of Halloween Kills because I think they're going and telling Lori that Michael isn't dead. Um, let's see here. So let me tell you oh, this, man. Never mind. I got 45 minutes. Go for it. <laughs> what What did you think of it, dude? You You actually, I got like we were talking before. I'm like, I missed you, Ben. Three weeks without you clapping because <laughs> you know me, dude. Like, so I can see past that goofiness really. Easy. Um, for those who are listening, just remember, Mister. Ben Garrett is not a horror movie fan. He does not really watch horror movies. So I love that he watched both of these movies and I love his opinions about these movies. Yeah. That that being said, I kind of got brought up on horror movies, um, more or less my bread and butter. And then I stepped out and you know, went mainstream and moved around all, all over the place. Now I'm independent. And I'll say for this movie, Halloween Kills, I fucking loved it. <laughs> I thought it was a good fucking man. The thing is, that's why I was like, God damn, did I miss something? I didn't know about the 2018 one. Like, I knew about it, but I was like, because, because also they made because the Rob Zombie fucking Michael Myers is massive. It's it's yeah. Taylor Maine, isn't it? Like, it's fucking saber tooth. Yeah, it's fucking huge. The guy's six ten. Like that that Halloween. Those are just gra graphic death. That's those are just gore movies at this point. Halloween Kills. Oh God, the only my there's only a little bit of gripes I have. Um, it kind of did suck because I didn't. I think I think we messed up. I think we missed it a little bit because what I've heard over the time when people, even like the old schoolers, when mm -hmm. they talk when they talk about Halloween, they bring up Halloween too, and they're like, "Dude, Halloween two maybe even be better than Halloween." So, and I could, and I'm not trying to quote. I think this. I think that's what they've said. The general uh, this, like word is that Halloween two, the 1981, is better than, than Halloween, and Halloween's the, like one of the best four movies. And uh, yeah. so the sequel. So I'm looking at. All right. So I think maybe we should have watched 2018 and Halloween Kills, and then you know, but. It's kind of cool that we did this because you're like you were saying we can like we can still we can still move with these things they can still work together. Um, I, what I want to say is that I might just Halloween just ended for me right now, so I'm gonna put Halloween Kills on next because I I, I love Halloween Kills because it it's dude it even has like it has like a lot of there's like awareness in this movie. I like the writing. I like yeah. that they're very. Uh, that they're very like there's not like graphic deaths they're not they're not like dude, dude like, like the final destination deaths got silly but the yeah. cgi like i loved all these deaths and at the very end when spoiler alert when you think you, they got michael like myers dead i i, I love that it's like i'm like there's like six minutes left they, just, they gotta have a lot of fucking uh you call it uh a lot of like uh crew cast and crew to, to, to talk about this movie there's gotta be big credits they can't they can't just do this like and at, at the end it's like it reminds you like i'm michael myers bitch i mm -hmm. kill all you motherfuckers like i was like hell yeah and then they kills the daughter and i was like hell yeah judy greer character um like yeah get you like you get out of his fucking house like it, I, I think what and also because the body things trips me out what he does with the bodies like he, he collects them and he puts them somewhere yeah. and, he, and, he, and he designs them like that's where i get to be like nah that thing's just a, that guy's just a fucking killer and and the one thing i did love okay so things i loved about Halloween kills uh gun safety control guns are fucking real people need to be careful with them because yeah. like the, that girl gets shot in the fucking head when he just kicks the door and then mm -hmm. the other people that don't know how to shoot the guns well you know like guns like be careful like i'm not saying don't use them and don't have but just fucking they're you know, from, from texas you know like everybody has this freaking gun here so it's just like be careful because that's what i liked about um they had that he has like they have like a council culture vibe like the mob yeah you know? like the mob yeah. kind of thing and then uh what's up so I'm I'm at the part in Halloween Kills where it's the Big John Little John scene where oh, he's about the, the 
and by the way, uh, all the comedians that are in this movie, mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's a lot of comedians like Michael yeah. McDonald. Like, dude, I was like, oh man, I don't want to see Michael McDonald die, but he does. They, but they don't show it, <laughs> so like, okay. <laughs> well, dude, but, and I was just, I was just, they they were watching a movie before, um, before everything kind of went down, and we have a repeat offender from that movie they were watching. Oh yeah, uh, Seymour Castle. Yes, he, I was like, oh my uh, god, young, he made it. young. Uh, and I was trying to see if they like had him in archive footage or anything like that. They don't. He's not even credited in this movie, which is odd, man. I would. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not think. I, I don't know how it works, but I figured that would be like yeah, a credit kind of to him. And, and yeah, kind of meta because you're kind of like just watching something. But yeah. you know what's and, up? What's up? And another thing. Sorry, right before. I think it's little or Big John. I can't remember who. It's, it's, but, the, the big guy's little, and the little one's big. Okay. Yeah. So either way. There he's going outside and looking outside and he has a golf club in his hand and then they have a pitchfork sitting right on the porch. I was like, bro, grab that pitchfork, man. That would be way more useful than a golf club. Well, well, the pitchfork, I was like, I guess it's like uh, it's foreshadowing there because you're like, oh, he's gonna use it. And they do it, and he goes, and they even tell you there's pay. So you know it's like a video game where it's highlighted, but they don't yeah. really go back, they don't really go back to it, and then you realize that uh the what's your what's your name? Karen. Oh yeah, she's a fucking Karen. Nah. Uh, that Karen uses it. Um you know, like the like the like the deaths at the end, like like Karen's death, uh, Cameron's death, his dad Lonnie. That's stupid. Like they yeah. literally, like they literally killed themselves. Like they went to the like it's like they went to Lions Den. Even even yeah, I mean Lonnie even says he's like I can't believe it. I brought my son to the belly of the beast. I'm like, dude, you're thinking that now? Leave. Like just join a car, drive off. Just, that's it, man. Like get out what of there. Do? Like I don't I don't understand. Like why would you? Why would you be there? Like why would like that's just I don't know, man. Like. It's like the characters, like, and, and but the thing is, it's believable. Like, I, I believe that. I believe that you would see, uh, you would see a lot of because uh, the cool thing about this man, they literally brought in a lot of stuff from one to this one, and we mm -hmm. didn't, we didn't even watch twenty. So now I'm gonna rewatch twenty eighteen, so I can kind of catch up. And it kind of sucks. I, I would have preferred to watch twenty eighteen first, and then watch yeah. this one. But whatever. Well, we uh, were talking about that earlier, jumping yeah. into a franchise, you know, and, and so and, this we, we kind of did that with this without even knowing it. Yeah, and then the and then the uh, I mean, it's just also what I do like, and that's what I was talking about the, about mental health. Cause I thought Michael Myers at this point was human, in, in Halloween Kills. Like I thought he was a regular guy. It's like all right, they made they humanize him because he's not big and he's just he's walking like a person. He's walking like a a, a mentally like I don't know mentally disturbed. So, yeah, because like, they said they said the Rob Zombie version like runs and stuff like that. Yeah, so he's like yeah, so he's like because uh, I mean he technically he run he he jumps on top of the car you know when the what's her name marion uh yeah that whenever yeah. she when she gets away and all that but technically i mean he's not really like you know he drives and, and well i i gotta i don't understand what's going on with the with the other guy with the the the, the guy they confused like the mental health case guy the, the guy oh i think that was from the first from the first movie i think he escaped with michael myers oh so that was, think he, yeah okay. and so that's why they think because he's a mental patient of course he's not like he's not tall enough yeah, and, I'm like, you know, just, he, I'm like that guy could, that killed all these people, you know. But also, yeah, and then like, he's scared of everybody. Like, why would he be scared? I figured yeah. Michael Myers would be like, "All right, come on, come on, and dude." Like, okay. I like, I do like, I do, man, I do love. I, I Halloween Kills is good. I like, I like for a modern day horror movie. This is awesome. Yeah. Um I like that they. It I mean, does. Also, it does kind of have that like early two thousands feels to it, doesn't it? And it also has. They also they brought in those old uh, clips from the first one and and like from the nineteen seventy eight one into this. So it's like yeah. And then they even go back and have the the not the sheriff but the police officer that's like down at the first of it. Like he yeah. has his. They they show him and oh, everything he got like that. Yeah, it's like yeah. It's like, it, Michael Myers just happens to be like a. Uh, I mean, he's honestly like to me, he's like a creature. Like he's like yeah. a, some kind of entity or like some kind of just villain. Or not even, like he's just a regular. Like he's just a bad guy, but like he's like just leave me alone. But he's also like killing people you know he's stalking that's what he does you can't it's just he's just like, at this point he is some supernatural some na super, yeah, super, super, super nature thing that he's just like i don't know man it's just crazy but i do like the way they make this movie like the deaths aren't over the top at first it did it did lose me with uh the with firefighters the firefighters yes yeah. yeah that's it that really like i was like uh how really how good. how man how that's that's what gets me is like and even at the end when that mob of people are like they're beating up on him, and then he just turns the tide. And he's just like, "All right, I've had enough of this," and then just yeah. he just kills them all. Uh, just like spoilers. Um, no, it's just uh, it, it's crazy that this one person can do so much damage, and all these other people are like, "That's you." You figured like a mob mentality would produce a mob that could. 
kill. Like I, I just well, don't, don't get think. it. You don't think mom's like it's kind of it's a, they're all joint. They're all connected. Shoot like, him dude. in the head. Yeah, like, shoot that mask, well, man, dude. And also too, like it's also like why don't you run? Like oh oh, but I also do got I got to give uh, props to Halloween Kills. Got minorities. Yeah, yeah like they like regular people in the movie. I love that. Like I'm starting to really pull pull away from these mainstream movies where they just you know sorry, but you know whitewash it and no no. Yeah, I mean like, you're it, you're not wrong and. It is, I mean, I'm yeah. an actor, and I'm like, I would like to be able to just come out in a movie. And horror movies are where it's at because they people always want to undermine them, like they're like, like just horror slashers, and they suck. Like, no, there's stories too, man. There, this is a well-made movie. This is well thought out. This is like, I, I, I freaking thought like John Carpenter made this movie. Yeah, you know, it's like it's it's well, it's got it's got such a great feel to it. Like you get a lot of these great shots. It's it's t- told like it it feels like Halloween. It, it yeah. I can watch this and it feels like Halloween. Um, the Lonnie kid, I mean, it's just kind of weird. Like you don't see him die. You just find him like trapped in the, so I wonder if Michael just like smushed them, you know, in the freaking, in wait, the, the dad, when he dies, so you, don't oh, see yeah. him, you don't see the death. You just hear the gunshot go off. But even yeah, at that, then, like, and then you see him hanging from the the ceiling after that. Yeah. Right? And, no. and it's kind of ironic that his son, like that's camera gets it bad. Dude. He, Cause you know, there's gotta be a gruesome death. And, yeah. like, and it's like, kind of love the boy. And but even his girlfriend breaks her leg. I'm like, that, that's your fault. Like, yeah. You know what? Why? Why did you like? I don't it's, know. Like, it's like they're not learning their lesson. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's you know. It's like oh, he and even even Laurie Strode's granddaughter is like, well, he killed my dad. Well, he killed my dad. Can you imagine her in Halloween Ends now? She's gonna be. Like, he killed my dad and oh, my yeah. mom. And you my know, mom. and like, and I I honestly I I thought she was about to die too, and it's like Laurie getting revenge for her whole whole uh, 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 her whole family. Yeah. So, and you know, I, as I see, I mean, this is a great movie. Halloween Kills is awesome. Like, I'm watching it right now, and even like the way he kills people, like, I mean, he literally, when he kills Cameron, like, Cameron's not ready for him because like, he's not. Like, why do you think yeah. just because you have a gun, you're going to be able to handle the situation? It's not like that. Anxiety, from stress, like, people, like, you can't even think. That's why I was like, I'm amazed no one's shot. Like, oh, there is. Never mind. Well, technically, when the cop shoots the other cop, the rookie shoots the, the other guy, he didn't really, like, you know, I don't know. It's kind of weird because then why does Michael Myers give himself up though on the first one, you know? Or yeah, you know, when he eats the dog, it's like that's another thing. It's like that's what I'm trying to say. What is Michael Myers? He has to eat, like because yeah. you find the dog in the first one. He's like, oh, the, he's been eating the dog, and then now it's like because I don't know. It's also whatever. And they even mentioned that in the first one. They they mention it, but they don't show anything. And I think in this one, you actually see it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah. the dog on the floor. It's like it's and that's what's cool about it. You're bringing like. Like a lot of these movies, like a lot of uh, a lot of these movies, uh, like the they're trying to bring revive, like you know Jason uh, Voorhees all the time, and they they have these two one the short movies called like Never Hike Alone, and then uh, Never Hike in the Snow or something like that, and they everybody I didn't realize that they wanted to see him in the snow, like people want to see Jason Voorhees Voorhees camping in the snow killing people. I was like, that's kind of a unique idea. I never, I never thought about that, but that'd be kind of cool to see, you know. And, and I, and then you know they're trying to figure out ways. This movie, like they got it. Danny McBride, like I, I mean, I, it's his credit. I don't know how much he wrote or what how they do their their process with the three of them, but man, they really they hammered this thing through. This is a well oiled thing. This is finished. Like this was a home, like a renovation home. It's like, dude, I couldn't even tell like where the beginning or the end is. This is they yeah. shot it well. It's well told. Like even the kills, I like all the kills. Even I, I you know, except the firefighters, like where it's a little overkill. But I like I could have I could have just <laughs> done it. Sort of. I could have just Excuse done it with like the first two firefighters because you know it's kind of funny. Just and then up, the rest of them run, you know, yeah. like that would have been that would have like, been perfect. Okay, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I am chicken shit, dude. I see that shit. I run, man. Like if yeah. I have to keep my if I I will I will run backwards. If I have to well, run backwards and I keep my eyes on the on the on Michael Myers, I'd have to do that. I'd do that. I know not to go around corners. I know to stay in like open areas and then just kind of. And another thing, as a mob, I I, I have this whole thing. It's like I'm gonna pause it because I don't I want to watch this part, but. I want to rant a little bit. As a mob, could we just could we not do this at night? Could we just like go somewhere? <laughs> can we go somewhere like a mall or something where we can barricade ourselves in? No. And he shows up. You know, we have guns. We'll protect ourselves. Get some sleep, and in the morning when it's daylight, let's get this son of a bitch. I'll see what happens, man. Is so Michael Myers. We've established has to eat, so he has to sleep too, and he sleeps during the day. So. He's nocturnal. That's why. No, but he, we know where he's at. He's at his house. Maybe. Yeah, he wants to get there, but is he there? Dude, and then all you do is like, dude, this is what you do. You go crazy with it, man. You burn that. You burn up the house while he's in it. Well, at the end of the day, and then you get like, you get a, what do you call it? Like the, the 
bulldozers to just run over it and then go over yeah. the house. And by the way, those freaking characters, uh, Big John, Little John, are a gay couple. So they had that house renovated. So Michael Myers now has a new renovated home that he didn't have to do shit for. So no, that's the thing. Like, do not, like, I would not. I would not live in that house. Like I would, if they said this is Michael Myers' house, if it was like, I would bull. I, I, I'm, I'm in the same vein as you. I would like destroy the house and start over. Like, oh, I wouldn't. I don't. Even, I don't know how I would do that. Like, I, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. Because uh, dynamite. Was, like, no, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I. I don't know if I tear it down. That's the only thing. But I, like, you know what? You know what I would do. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a, there, there's a house in in my hometown that's by my dad's house that's supposed to be haunted, and it's all. Mm-hmm. It is like you always see people constantly in and out of it. I mean, the back in the day, I don't know anymore. But um, but I was always like, man, just I guess leave the house alone. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of yeah. weird. It's like you know, or that people like that's a, I don't know. But I I mean, with this with that like that that couple like I mean the deaths the deaths are and I love all the deaths, dude. Like, like I said, outside of the firefighters ones where you just kind of impaling people and then messing them up with that pick because I thought the first guy was kind of funny where he's he falls and then Michael Myers just like opens up the like garage I guess or what like. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what he was in. I guess I got to watch the 2018 version, but he comes yeah. out and he's like, there's someone down here. And then he Well, just- I, th- I think that was Lori Strode's house and she had it like armed to the teeth waiting oh. for Michael to come back. That's, that's uh, kind of what I read. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Cause yeah. I know they tried to, they tried to trap him cause he stabs her. And I guess that's what she, I mean, they really, she, she's not in this movie at all, but it's good. Like, I'm like, yeah, she's definitely yeah. Yeah, kind of like she's old. So it's like, how is she's older? You know, how is she going to like, how's she gonna protect her so they have to let her heal and also now she has the revenge of her daughter like you're, you're mentioning so and, yeah. and like i mean like like good old freddie fashion he michael myers caught up with the people that survived literally the only only one there's only one more survivor and she might have ptsd like a mother you know yeah. and uh but i i did like the way that uh you know when he kills the couple like he does like to kill and likes to set people up because like i mean he literally with cameron he like cracks his neck like he like does all that like i, I thought that was like, excessive yeah, like, well, it it solidified like he's not gonna make it anymore. <laughs> no, but Damn. I mean, like, I, like he stabbed him a bunch, and then he put his head. I thought he was gonna rip his head off. And uh, so here's here's my question too. Oh, that would have been good, right? Yeah. Um. So the the mob that we have at the hospital, why couldn't we have gotten all those people to go and get the real Michael? Like, were they just so demoralized that this person just killed himself in front of them that you know they're like, oh no, okay, I'm gonna go home now. Like, <laughs> I just don't get why they didn't have more guns. Like, they only have one gun. Yeah. Well, like, so like you said, gun safety, bro. Gun safety. Oh, um, also too, because two people get shot. Yeah. Two people get get shot with her by themselves, basically. I mean, it's like, yeah, she's shooting at him and she's running at him. Like, like Oof. you. It, I mean, that guy. That guy. I don't know why the hell he was just thinking, man. Yeah. Like, that the, that the the mental patient scene where he falls. That one. That's probably the scariest part of this movie. I think. Yeah, it also shows the body, so it's a little bit yeah. gross. Um, yeah. I like, I, I do like the way the the sheriff dies in the beginning. Like, the Mike, where he's like, he said nothing, nothing happens here. And it's like, oh, but then Michael just comes out, like runs at him, you know? Yeah. Like it's insane. Like Michael Myers is a, a, a killer. There's nothing, there's nothing to it, but that that's what he does. He's a murderer. But the rookie kid, man, that's like I don't understand. See, like, they, they, also you have to spend a little bit more time with him. But yeah. uh, but also like the, the 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 guy that's a nurse, not the doctor. His wife's the doctor. The guy that's mm-hmm. a nurse, like I don't know why he tries to strangle him. He just stabs him in the eye. But it showed you. It, I do like that. It just shows you that you're you're normal. You know, like this is an entity. What do you do when Michael Myers is choking uh, uh, your partner there? Well, he's got me choked, and you got the gun. Well, how do you how do you get out of that situation? What do you do? Well, you're saying that oh, like at the beginning when the the police officer. Yeah. No, I mean you you try to shoot. Michael Myers. I mean, if he's if he's get if if the other guy is uh, you know gonna die anyway. I mean, what's <laughs> what I'm saying is I see like it's you, right? I I got the gun and I see Michael Myers choking you like that. What do what do I have to do? The first thing I gotta do is I walk like I walk up to you guys and I shoot him in the knee. But easier said than done because I'm like you know like shoot him, shoot him in the leg or I would try to like to they just walk up. Like, I don't I don't try. To so you don't think you'd shoot him in the throat? Well, no, I wouldn't shoot at a distance. That's like all far. Get closer, and then I'd be like, "All right, Ben, cover your ears." <laughs> like I just start shooting at him. Like I would get real close to him and shoot him, because he's he has both hands. If he had the knife in one hand and he's like you know stabbing you, I'd be like, yeah, oh, damn, you know. But as you say, he doesn't. In this scenario, he doesn't have he doesn't have a knife. He's just choking him. <laughs> but it's just it's insane, dude. Like also like the way they tell you. Like I like the way that they cover it up too. Like, I like all right, that, CJ. But... Here's the thing, man. He was pressured. He was in the moment. All right. He didn't know what to do. He's a rookie. And all the other training videos said, go for the head. 
And so that's what he did. And it went for the neck instead of the wrong person. But, you know, uh, uh, yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, I think with Halloween Kills, you just have to stop thinking and just enjoy the movie. Because once you start thinking about it, then it starts. You're just like, oh, this is too damn goofy. You know, like it it, it starts to kind of get away from you. Now, that's the thing with Halloween, man. It's just like it's it's creepy it's that music like it just i don't know it 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 has that creepy factor it has that that it's it's like i said before it just has that tension and if you could build tension like that in a movie with just people standing around or just having a conversation that's how you know you know, one of two things, either you have a very, like a very good director and a very, or, and, or a very good script because like one, one scene that I always thought was just like, can always like take the the breath out of my lungs was in glorious bastards. The first scene with Christoph Waltz, where he's talking to that guy and he's just like constantly building tension. And like you, you just, Christoph Waltz did a great job in that too because you just feel it like you you see it in his face like you just um you hear it in his voice and that's the thing with michael is you don't hear him talk and you don't see his face so to be able to build that tension with no kind of dialogue and just people standing and stalking and stuff like that give me one second okay i got you yeah. Let's see. So we got uh, there's a break in the. Let's check out some trivia on Halloween Kills because I need to catch up with my Halloween Kills. Let's see. Okay, it says Jamie Lee Curtis, Charles Cyphers, Kyle Richards, Nancy Stevens, and Nick Castle were all the original Halloween 1978 and all returned for the sequel. For this sequel, uh, the characters of Tommy Doyle and Lonnie Elm from the original also returned, but were recast with Anthony Michael Hall and Robert Longstreet, because Andrew retired is retired from acting since 2015, and Le Page never acted again after the original Halloween. Ah, so the, oh the so the I guess yeah the so Lonnie and Tommy. Hmm. Both pumpkins are featured in the opening title sequence, with the last one indicating Halloween Kills as the 12th installment in the Halloween franchise. Well, we're already at 12. We're already moving on 13. According to Andy Matach, uh, Matich, Matichak, Matichak, there you go, Andy Matichak, it was initially planned that Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends 2022 would be filmed back to back. This did not occur due to an intense schedule. Yeah, I would take a break from this too. Yeah, so sorry hey, about that. I thought I had Mike. I thought I had Michael Myers at my door for a second, man. Oh, dude. Okay, so yeah, I'll tell you this. So when I text Ben last week, he didn't text me back. Like, I mean, I'm not expecting right away, uh, but like he didn't text me back like the next day, but later in the day. And the whole time <laughs> I was like, is Ben okay? What's going on? Like, it's, <laughs> it's weird times now because it's the only time I get to see him. So I'm like, man. He's not really my coworker. He's kind of like, you know, it's kind of just my, my buddy, my friend, my, my best friend here. I got to make sure I, we, we hadn't talked in a, while, in a minute and we hadn't done the show. So it's like, it's a real big deal. So, you know, things like this, like where they have to do like a social media uh, part to it. I, I like the fact that, you know, there are, there are things here. It's a small town, but also um, the kids don't know who Michael Myers is. Yeah, the stupid mask. Like, it's like, oh yeah, the generations are different now. Like, you it know, didn't, there's, there's, didn't one of those kids get killed? At least one of them? Yeah, one of them. The, because, yeah. the one they, they, you know what I'm saying? Like he's, he's killing and he's messing with them and they don't know who that is. Like, they're like, dude, you don't know who Michael Myers is? You should know who that is. Like, that's a really good, like, that's one thing I did. I mean, tell you what, Halloween Kills, you're right. If you look at it, watch that as a movie. It's a great movie. Um, like you were saying, you don't get too, uh, also like the the Tommy scene where he, he talks like, I thought he was going to do stand up or something. Yeah, and I thought he, he was too. And, and, it, and he just goes and he's like, shits on everybody. Like, don't forget about the survivors. And I, I understand why they do this scene because they want to, you, you're, they're like, I just read right now, they're, they're all re- reliving, they're all recasted. For yeah. this movie, so they they kind of want to give you a reminder, but I don't know. Like, if you make a fan, make a movie for the fans. Like, we already know this. Like, you know, well, this, this is kind of like for the newer generation, the, I guess. And they totally made up that character Lonnie too. Is like Lonnie is uh, so Lonnie's kid is in the first one. I don't know if Lonnie is actually in it. I I, I tried to look up IMDb. I don't think he was. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, there, buddy. But um, 
so Lonnie's character from the first Halloween is made up in this movie. And he just sees Michael for a second. And I think it's funny that Tommy and what's the girl's name? Lucy. Is that her name? Tommy and Lucy in the first one. Oh, the first one. Uh, sorry. I'm looking at the, the, the two kids. I think it is Tom. Lindsay. Lindsay. So I think it's just funny that Lonnie was like, yeah, I saw him. And they're like, we believe you. Like, there's no question of, of anything. Yeah. It's just like, you know, it's, it's like, he's just part of the group and, he, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to shortchange him or anything, but he just saw him for two seconds and then he left. You know, like I wouldn't, I, maybe this is just me, but I wouldn't be like, I'm a survivor of Michael Myers. Yeah. I just, yeah. I just kind of like, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be living in the same town either. Like, you same, know, like, same dude. Like these people, like, especially since you know he already came back 15 years after he killed his family or yeah. sister. Yeah. It was like, I mean, even like so, just a little pop culture. I'm wearing, I was, I'm wearing my Del Real hoodie. That's where I'm from. And Tommy Lynn Sells was caught out in our, at our lake when I was a kid. You know, the, the, the murderer, serial killer, oh. and that, that's kind of a tizer. But like, he's not from there, and he just he just ended up on the border. You know, that's where he got caught. And um, like to me, like that's that's always like a big deal. Like I was like, oh shit, I'll, I'll always remember that. But like, he, you know, he there was really no ties to that. It's just, it's just where like you know that was the end of the rope for. Do you think that they they give middle names to serial killers so they aren't like, you know, like dude, like I don't mean to get too like prejudiced or or racist here, but like like I always get scared of white dudes with three first names, man. Oh, like, I would too. Yeah, they like, think it's uh, like like oh, Benjamin shit. Andrew Garrett. Because yeah, like that's it. <laughs> Is that your middle name, Andrew? Well, yeah, I have two middle names, so I'm safe. Oh, okay, um, good. Yeah, I uh, I'm yeah, I have another one in there. Well, but, uh, I got the I got the Mexican Mexican a uh, Mexican thing going for me because it's um yeah I, we, dude, we, we, we y'all have, have like same... five middle names right yeah well no because well technically we do <laughs> it's, it's equations we don't date our, our family members but uh it's basically like because there's a lot of like you know Juan's or Jose's got Jose's so you have to say your it's like a, like your first name with your middle name and then you attach your your mom's last name your dad's last name so they know which family you're from it's like which connection because everybody knows everybody it's, it's everybody's got to know everybody's everything so. But yeah, so like you know, that's why my son has. I always say his both both his names. People are like, why do you say it like that? I'm like, well, that's his name. Like he's got a middle name. I don't want to like not have the. It's always weird when people have like a, a middle name they don't use, or I don't know, weird. But when I like, I don't think I need to know it. But I also feel they don't care about their middle name. Uh, but I have I have two cousins on both on one of my mom's and one of my dad's side where they have letters for middle middle names, and they're like, what's the what's the stand for? It's, no man, it's just letter H, letter B. <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> it's like yeah. What were you gonna say? Sorry. Oh. uh do you think Lonnie could be alive still? Oh hell yeah! If he would have no no no, he died. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Because they show that scene where he's dead. Like it shows both his son and the, both son, father and son dead. Um, oh, okay. I, I, I'm right here where the firefighter fell to the floor. I thought that was pretty cool. Like I had never seen that before, where where a firefighter falls and he, he activates something so we can find him. Mm. Like that's just so scary, dude. The freaking the 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 gate opens up and then like he kills him. Like but the way he kills him. He uh he just pokes him in the face and it's like it's not a it's not a super I mean, it's like a realistic death it's not like super like graphic like you know he just beats yeah. him down but like I think it would have just been cool if he would have just killed this, these two guys like this guy and then pulled the other guy down and killed him and mm-hmm. then that was it and then they're like you're right the other ones run like well, do you run yeah. Ben I, I would have run dude like I, I mean actually, I know I, it's a lot of gear and everything but that's see that's the thing it's like I don't know because I feel like if I had like six people around me and we had axes and we're you know you know, suited up for firefighting. And you're also also fireman. Like you're like, this band of brothers kind of shit. Yeah. That too. And then like, also if you're, you're trained to be in that gear, so you're able to move and stuff like that in there in intense situations. So, you know, you have a saw. Okay, cool. And then you have, you would assume a couple axes. You have a water hose. Where's the water hose to spray this dude down. Dude, yeah, why why does he do that? Why does he do that? Like the <laughs> high pressure that, hose like, isn't gonna he, he, he's hitting him with it, it doesn't do anything. That, that, I was like, what is that guy just shooting? Like that uh, guy, hell, that guy man. Doesn't. that's like the, that's like going to battle like in the civil war, and that guy has that guy's the guy with the, with the flag, and, and he just oh I feel I feel like yeah, I feel like if Michael Myers was in the Civil War too, he would have been like Oh, I see that drummer boy over there. Oh, got him. Yep. All right. That's a kill. That's one for me. 
Like he would have he would have shot anybody. You know how they had like uh, okay, people yeah. like doing doing the band and everything. He was like, all right, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of that <laughs> damn drum. You're like, you're, you're like, we don't shoot each other medics. Like, no, that's a cross for me. I just aim at the cross. <laughs> right, dude. Oh man, speaking of so I have you ever seen a movie called American Outlaws? Uh, with yes, Colin with, uh, Farrell. Colin Farrell, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It was Richard Linklater, I think, um, directed that. I think that's his last. No, like, no. Oh no, he did. No, he did the. Uh, sorry, I kid. The Norton Boys, is what he did. Sorry, sorry. I yeah. So actually, fun fun fact about the director, he did direct one of your favorite movies, bro. Uh, with Brendan Fraser in it. Oh, uh, Encino Man. Yeah, the the director of American Outlaws directed Encino Man, and um, but I was watching that the other day. And I was like, I just remember loving this movie growing up. I thought yeah, it was a fun, too. a fun movie and all that. And I was like, hell yeah, like to hell with the railroad. Like they're they're the they're the devil. You know, those guys are just trying to take their land, da 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 and all this other stuff. And then I rewatched it the other day. I was like, Jesse James, he was he was for the South. I was like, <laughs> like <laughs> they they lost this war, and like these are these are people that are, I, I don't know. I just thought I was like I looked at it with a different lens. Yeah, of yeah, like dude. these these guys are portrayed as good, but they're they're not. Like they're being glamorized. So we're and good. I, we think we think we're like hell yeah, yeah. So we're like oh shit. Yeah. Well, and so, you you just see little scenes of like. Well, one of my favorite things out of that is like whenever they're talking about the younger James gang, he's like, why can't we be the younger James gang? And then his brother's like, well, you know, uh, people might start asking themselves, younger James gang, what if there's an older James gang? Why haven't we heard of them? And they'll be thinking about that instead of raising their hands. And we got to shoot people. <laughs> That's <laughs> so, right. I, I, I think I recently saw this last like maybe like four years ago was the last time I yeah, saw it. But, it's on Netflix right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, So he's talking about American Outlaws 2001, PG 13, one hour, 34 minutes, action, Western. Right away, it says five Southern friends return yeah. home. Yeah, from the South. Wow. Yep. And the war and, and, ends in 1865, but Yankee soldiers and Pinkerton are busy helping a railroad baron grab land from farmers along the planned railroad west. The five friends fight back. Bad, Directors bad. Bess know. Mayfield, uh, writers Roderick Taylor, uh, John Rogers, stars Colin Farrell, Scott Kahn, and Ali Leitner. Yeah, I remember Scott Kahn in this. Yeah, I mean it's a solid movie. It is. It's it's a fun romp, but it's just it's just strange taking the context of what was going on in that time, and then just like okay, yeah, they, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I thought it was very interesting. It was one of the few movies from probably 2000 on that you're going to see the South be the good guys. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think after 2000, after probably like 2010, the South is not going to be looked at in the light that it was. You know? Hey, hey, buddy, not now. Now we're 2021 to South. We're going to fight again. You're going to know. We're learning you know? the internet. <laughs> we can learn first, we learn to read. Right? I saw it on Facebook. It's a uh, fact. It's a fact. Oh, yeah. are you about to get meta with it? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Good old Mark Zuckerberg with meta. Thank you. I've always wanted to live in Ready Player One with trailers stuck on top of trailers. <laughs> with, these, with these fancy, they're just trying to get us uh, with these uh, cargo houses. Right. Like, yeah, I oh, don't worry, man. Box. I can <laughs> I can literally, you know, pay for your entire life to live rent-free, but, you know, I'll just make you pay for more stuff. How about that? Does that sound good? Okay, cool. I, I don't know. It's, it is kind of funny. Like, think, like pods. Like, they're literally like, look at these giant pods. It's Look how cool you can make your pod look. It's like, oh, okay. I like for maybe outside studio, but not to live in. Like, I'm not trying yeah. to... Like, airtight, sealed. No, I'm not doing that. No. No. Uh, no, we're not there. Flying cars will not... Well, they're, they're invented and people can get them, but we're, we're never going to be able to use them. Because well, that's one thing. That's one thing I like about Futurama. They actually have traffic <laughs> with flying cars. Like it's a, <laughs> you're supposed to go anyway. You can go 360, but yet you got to follow rules. Get out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that thing. Well, I and the tube too, man. That that always I always thought that was hilarious. Do you think that'd that be a, like Futurama with the tube? Do you think that'd be a hell no, dude? There'd be people dying all the time. Dude, <laughs> go ahead. You wouldn't even need a suicide booth. It's just like, oh man, did you hear about Tom? Yeah, he went head first into the tube and now oh, he's gone. Oh god, yeah, he was all wasted. Yeah, you're right, dude. Tom you was know? all wasted. 
what do you do? Well, you put one leg in and one leg out and strip them down the middle. You know, like, you got you know, only half. Right. We had Tom in two places. Um, God, but you're, you're absolutely right about this. Yeah, man. Well, and so I feel like we've really been talking about Halloween kills more than Halloween. But I mean, Halloween is pretty straightforward. There's it not. Is. It's 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 a simple scary movie, and that I think in essence, like even even you know, 40 years later, it still holds up because it's not like trying to get those. Um, What's it? It's not trying to do a crazy kill. It's trying to be as realistic as possible, you know? Well, well Halloween, but keep in mind, it's it's the, one of the founding fathers. So it's like, it is like, and that's why where they've come all the way with here with Halloween kills. I think, and I think we, <laughs> the guy with that water, why is he, and you're right, that's like, like a high pressure on his phone. It's like, he just stabs around the eye. Like, come on, dude, like move. Like it's, but also, I gotta tell you, like there are a lot of there are a lot of people that would just you know be panicking and you know staying in there and you know, I do I do like the shots they use like I'm watching the firefighting scene right now yeah it's, and I'm watching good. the the end scene where he's killing everybody the shots are good like I said man the movie the movie itself is is great like I, I think it's great acting I really I think Anthony Mac Michael Hall did a great job with what he was given That's um true. you know That's as true. as That's far true. like he. He he sells it. He sells it as Tommy. Yeah. Like he's pissed. He's he's like he's been dealing with this shit his whole life, and you feel it. Um, I, I, I do like that they all die though. I, really I do. Like I, I, like, I like, like that, that they that. they kill. And I mean, it like I said in the title, like Halloween kills. Yeah, <laughs> they do. It's getting. It's happening. But um, I think it's uh, it's it's a it's a cool movie, man. It's it's a fun, action filled movie that. Like I said, if you take your thinking cap off and just enjoy it, you're gonna like it a whole lot. You really will. Um, but and then yeah, man, he goes and just slams as a bat into Tommy's head. Yeah, oh. I, I, I thought that was funny, man. Uh, oh, the the bartender he goes, Tommy boy, about to fuck that shit up. We're about to fuck Michael Myers up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> huh. It's uh, yeah. Funny. Also, how did he get back into his house so fast? To kill Karen. This... Oh, dude, she was down the street. You didn't, she, you didn't see? She, she, I mean, she... Yeah, they, dude, they're, she's... they're like two or three blocks away. It was, it's yeah, not but, not but what I'm saying is like, okay, well, I guess it really just kind of depends on the timing and everything. If he's killing everybody, you know. That's the thing with movies sometimes. You don't know exactly when things are happening. Like, are they happening at the same time? Is this happening before? Well, you, gotta, then... you, gotta, you, gotta, you, you do got to say that it is going on because they're showing you clips back and forth. Why is get... she wearing a Christmas sweater? I just noticed that. I don't know. I didn't. I, I didn't. I just want to sat down because he told me. I did, I just think with Halloween, you can actually the nineteen seventy eight. It's like um, Michael Myers is more like human there, and just like Jason Voorhees, where they because with with Freddy Krueger, we 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 he is what he is. Yeah, she is yeah. Christmas. He is what he is. We know we we know Freddy. Jason has evolved into from like a human to like a zombie kind of yeah like a meta human. They've meta killed thing. him and brought him back. Yeah, and then so and then we know this. We just we just know it's a, we know what we're getting into with Michael Myers. I can see why the fans really do like him. Um, you don't. I, it's ambiguous. You don't know what the hell's going on with him. Dude, it's I mean, just have, that mask. They have a gay couple, and you don't like they like they're like this is like like they you get the feeling for that. Like the guy who doesn't want like the Michael Myers. I mean the the Michael McDonald character, um, Little John. You like um, what do you call it? You. Um, if he doesn't want to fight him, he just kills him. He just, he just he doesn't put up a fight. He just dies. Because when you see him there, you, there's no there's no struggle. He's just because you see the what a fight looks like, and you see the big John all messed up, and the eyes getting closed in is a, a horrible death. Like yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool death. <laughs> but uh, but um, um, oh, also I um, what I picked up is he killed he, Michael Myers came back and killed. So he kills that. Uh, she's in Halloween, 2018. Um, the the lady with the the. With the, with the little drum, she's the caretaker in Halloween 2018, and he comes back and kills her. The the lady who the lady with the like the, the two comedians. Uh, let me see what her name is. She her name is called the caretaker because the, the old guy that gets his head like crushed through Michael Myers because he's like there's someone in our there's someone in our house. Uh -huh. And because uh, I'm looking at yeah because also yeah you're right you they they I was looking at it because I was like well who else came came back and because uh, I didn't know that the boyfriend you know because I didn't see 2018. Yeah, and uh, boyfriend was in it. But what's her name? She's in it. She dies in a uh, Halloween Kills. Her name is 
Hold on, let me get it. I just had it right here. You're not talking about Miriam from the first one, are you? No, the no, lady. No, no. Okay, because no, she was no, the one who was driving. Huh? No, no, no. She's it's her and her husband. The the comedians. Um, they died. The let's see, what was her name? Oh, you're talking about the nurse and the doctor? Yeah, like the black and white couple. The old couple. Oh, oh, yeah. They were in the. They were in 2018. Well, the, the 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 lady is she's the caretaker. Oh, okay. And the, her name's Diva Tyler, and she's Sandra. On on, on in a in Halloween twenty eighteen on uh, Halloween Kills, and in Halloween twenty eighteen. Yeah, because because Michael Myers breaks breaks through the glass and gets the guy's head. Then he like uses the glass like that. That's, like there's some deaths like they're not super graphic, but they're I mean they're graphic enough. But he like he just but Michael Myers just uses what he has. It's just glass, you know. Yeah. What, what's that? What's this actor's name? He's um, isn't that Benny or something? But oh, also, th this is why I thought like this is why I thought Michael Myers was like more human because he just starts stabbing that guy. Like you see that, that all those knives just stabs mm -hmm. the dude in the back. Like like for like in, and then um, you know the Sandra is just looking at him dying. Yeah. And he and he uses the the the, the and by the way. You can't like we we used to fight with those things in the back back in the day with those uh, bulbs. They they do stay like that. You can break it and have, you can have a sharp piece like that, like a weapon. <laughs> it's insane how he just stabs her in the throat. Like he just gets it and just goes up there and kills her. Like he's like he's not messing around. Like he's not trying to like he just goes, <laughs> just kills her. You know? Yeah. And the next scene, next time you see them, oh, that's how I'm watching it. It's like oh, it's it's, it's graphic, dude. So it's like, oh. so she's in the 2018 version. I just wanted to say. Okay, and, I'm I'm watching uh, the. Uh, suggestions after Halloween kills on Peacock. Yeah. And uh prom night. Yeah, prom night, uh sleepaway camp, curse of Chucky, House of the uh -huh. Devil is after that. And uh sleepaway camp, man, that that had a lot of Halloween vibes to it just from the trailer. It was like somebody just staring out and looking at you. Have you seen it? No, no, I'm just I I just I Dude, looked I at the trailer. I cannot talk about sleepaway camp until you watch it. Uh, okay. You have, you have to watch it. It's dude it's just I can't talk about it. Like I, 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 to do that movie justice, you just don't talk. You watch it, then you talk about it. Like I'm like, okay. sorry. you gotta watch it though. And it's a horror movie. Keep in mind, it is a horror movie. But I will also, in its defense, it's low budget, so you'll be able to enjoy it. Okay. And then the Curse of Chucky was 2013. Wow. That's all, that one. That one. That one was different, man. That one. I see what they're doing with Chucky there. God damn! Like this is such a great scene where Michael Myers is just stabbing him in the back. Like it's showing you this is what he does. Like. And also, a lot of people die slow in here. That people like they don't just instantly die. Like people here die slow. It's, I love that. Like I was like, oh shit, because they all like even the Cameron when he gets his neck broke, he was he's yeah. die, he's alive the whole time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so crazy. Yeah. Like he just he just stabs on the back. Like he does it excessively. He does it, like five times. That I I think when Halloween ends, I think they're gonna basically walk. Uh, what do you call it? I think it's just going to be. I, I think Laurie Strode is just. Yeah, I think it's. Well, the 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 cop and Laurie are still alive. Yes, her, her, as well her. as the granddaughter. Yes. So, real quick, I don't do, you know. think they're, do you think they're just going to jump right into it? Like we like we just like we just left this off. No, I think it's going to be a year later. I think it's going to be like they haven't been able to find Michael. She's been looking for Michael. She's looking for revenge, and it's finally. I, I, I that would be my guess. Um, because I mean, is this still Halloween night? Yeah. Okay, so this all happens in one evening. Yeah, because 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 okay, so Halloween twenty eighteen and this one are the same night. Because if you notice, Cameron is still wearing the the gown that he has in the beginning of the movie. Now he finds Officer Hawkins on the ground. So since he finds uh, Officer Hawkins on the ground, that's from twenty eighteen. Do you think? So it, it's Do you think they the can really thing. keep it going throughout tonight? Throughout the yeah, the hell, the hell yeah. Think? So, so I'm thinking Halloween ends is gonna be jump right into it again. You're gonna go straight into it, okay. and and I think it's gonna be um, what do you call it? Right, right, literally, right, right there, that that scene right there, and then Laurie Strong's gonna have to come. I just I'm, I'm I I I understood what you're saying about uh, Laurie, uh, her character in this one. She hasn't. She's not really in it. It's kind of like yeah. Cyclops and X two. He's not in it, but he's well. And I think in, in Halloween. The two thousand, I think she's more prominent in that because they really sold her. And, well, and it just may have been in the trailers. I know in the trailers they really sold that Jamie Lee Curtis is back 
Yeah. And she's Lori Strode. And it's 40 years later, and she's out to get Michael. He better not Michael. come. And, he better not come and mess with this old woman because she didn't get frail. She got jacked. You know. Um, <laughs> You're, that's a good one. I, I'll say that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, no, man. Um, so uh, I have I have a question for you, and this is kind of like a little bit off topic. I'm sorry. Uh, have have there we haven't seen each other in what like three weeks? Uh, what other movies have you have you seen recently, dude? I gotta tell you, man. Um, I was actually thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, I did not watch movies for a little bit. Um, because I was watching scenes or just YouTube and stuff because I was doing all the business things. So, oh, getting shit done. I like it. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't really, but I did. Uh, well, uh, technically, I uh, clerks too. Okay. Um, I saw, oh, I saw Free Guy. Oh. Dude, okay. Uh, that's why I was getting at any new movies. My bad. Uh, any movies. Uh, but Free Guy, what'd you think? Uh, a popcorn movie. Uh, okay. Rich Ryan Reynolds movie. Yeah. I will say that I have a similar idea, so I thought that was cool that I could get some. Like, I was like, oh, they did a few things that I like, and I was like, okay, cool. I'll be able to like flush my shit out a little bit better. Um, I do have a, I have a very – it's like mine's more of a comic book base right now, but yeah. um, I did like Free Guy. I got to watch it for free on the on Delta when I flew to Rhode Island, so I, I oh, watched nice. it. Oh, actually, I did watch a lot of movies. I'm lying. Did, I did. did you watch watched... Red Notice? Red Notice? No. What is? That? Oh, it's on Netflix. It's good. It's I another watch, Ryan Reynolds movie. Was, yeah. No. I, oh, that's the one with him and The Rock. Yeah. Yeah. And Gal Gadot. Okay, no. okay. I didn't. I did. I. I started noticing these because remember, I, I've. I've. Uh, for anybody listening, I've cut off uh, media, so I'm not. I'm not watching anything uh, that's uh, just news based. Anything like so, you know, reviews are kind of tied up with media with you know news and stuff. So I don't. I ignore everything now. So. I'm just watching one on my own and uh, stumbling to conversations like this. Um, because I, even like when, when I, cause when I go to the conventions, my phone doesn't work. So all oh, the head, the head that Michael Myers put the, they find it. Yeah. I like the cowboy too. The, the black cowboy. Yeah. Thing. It's mm -hmm. cool. Uh, but uh, what do you call it? Cause he's also like, they, like they bring in this one. I'm talking about new generation. Sorry. Cut me off. But um, like I, uh, I watched, uh, let's see. What did I watch? I watched free guy and I liked it. Um, I watched on the plane and then I watched, what else did I watch? I didn't watch squid games. I didn't Me watch neither. That. I didn't watch. I kind of want to watch that. I watched. Uh, well, we, we watched uh, Shang Chi. Oh and... yeah, what'd you think about that? We were watching it. What, what do you think? I oh, did I like too. It. I like it. Yeah, I, I think like it's it. a solid movie, man. It's good, dude. It's a it's... good movie overall. I think. Yeah. But I also what I what I what I did though this go around. I'm starting to understand why a lot of people don't. Um, uh, what do you call it? A lot of people don't like like those kind of Marvel movies because they're kind of cookie cutter now. Like they're kind of like they they they're cool like CGI scenes, but there's no real uh, like like what I'm trying to say is like there's no realness to it. So like a Jackie Chan scene, you see him going <laughs> actually going through a through a ladder, you know. You're He's saying actually, it it, it, it has its steps. So like okay, here's gonna be the first fight scene. Okay, yeah, cool. we're like gonna creative, do the first. Yeah, but they're not like you know. But it's also like when people make fun of it, they say it's like rush hour. I'm like okay, I, I can't actually see that in this movie. Like I didn't, they, I didn't have to like. I didn't have to, what do you call it, be told that. Like, I, I kind of thought out on my own already. It's, like, it's kind of like Rush Hour. But, yeah. um, but you know, I thought it was a great movie. Uh, Marvel movies are kind of kind of getting bland because now when I'm re-watching them, like, uh, I'm going back. So I did I did watch, because uh, I think, what, you're an Endgame guy, right? Yeah, I, I if we're going to be honest, I like Infinity War a little bit better. Oh, no, I like Infinity War way more. Like, I, I, watched, I was watching Infinity when it, when it was on Netflix. When it got mm -hmm. on Netflix, I was watching it, like, all the time. I had it in the background playing. Yeah. Now it's on Disney+. Plus. Um, what else did we see? I, I saw Horton Here's a Who. We've been watching that one around here. Okay. Um, I've seen, uh, what else did I see? Oh, I saw a Grumpy Old Man. Oh, that's a good that's, one. Dude, I really love that movie now because we're doing that one for rewatch right now. Um, let me see. I've seen a few movies. I just haven't been posting them because I, I don't only post the ones that I watch from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Um, I've watched uh, Eternals. What would you think? Not a fan. That's what I'm hearing. Um, as, as much as I went into it, like I, I, there's a couple people from work and I was like, they were kind of crapping on it. And I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'm going to go and give it a fair shot. I'm not going to, you know, I was like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take their opinions, but I always take them with a grain of salt. Um, but they weren't, they weren't necessarily wrong. Like me and Kenya went to go see it and she, she came out and she was like, I didn't really like that movie. And she went and saw black widow with me too, just to give you a little bit of context. Yeah. And she thoroughly enjoyed that one. So as did I, um, and she said, I, I really didn't like that one. Cause I, I didn't really know what was going on. 
And <laughs> I said, don't worry. Me neither. I had, I had no clue what, like, what the reason this movie was made. It would have been a great TV show if they would have, yeah, if they would have taken time to flesh everything out and do like each character justice, it would have been good and kind of give a little bit more backstory on them. Did they, uh, did they been... start off to Avengers right away? And then <laughs> is that what they did? Uh, it was more. So it started off with like a scroll screen of like the Celestials made the Eternals and da 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 and all this other stuff. And uh, that's great. And it's a little bit of a backstory. But I mean, dude, it just like it jumped around too much from time period to time period. I was expecting it to be like fluid. You know, yeah. like we we start here and then we could just kind of make that's what I was really hoping. I was really hoping that we were just going to, OK, we start 5000 years ago. Perfect. And we're going to move to this er era, you know, and then see how they, you know, manipulate and help the world and everything like that. And boom. And then we're here and then we're here. And then that's how it takes the movie. Whereas it was like 5000 years present day, you know, six days ago. Three days ago, three days from now, you know, that kind of shit. And like, yeah. if, if you do that too much, it just kind of, it's, it's hard to keep up with, you know, especially, and another thing too, is like, if, if a movie has like, we're in Asia, you know, this time, oh, you know, so like, you know what I'm saying? Too much jumping around and, and, uh, well, that's what I'm saying. Cause those are, those are like billion dollar movies. Like you should already yeah. have your shit together, you know? And I, I think, I think so too, man. And I think. I think if they just went with a lesser known cast and did, and they could have had, you know, Richard Madden and Kit Harrington and all them, they, they would have been fine. But if you would have done it in a series, like a nine episode series, get nine hours of this backstory, I think it would have been beautiful. I think it would have been, you know, people would have been praising it, but it's just like you get little bits. They don't explain anything for you. Like, uh, and I, I don't need them to explain anything, but they well, it's not even that they don't explain anything. It's that they just bring up points and they just like throw it in there, like kind of casually, like one of the Eternals has a crush on another one. It's like, well, I always thought of you like as Peter Pan and you can't get Wendy. Like, how the hell are we supposed to know that? There was nothing that kind of sent that kind of vibe. There was nothing yeah, that the supported that, that you know, and it just was like, that's that's where it just kind of threw me off and then with the deviants they had a story that was going along with one deviant and you know it was a very interesting story and i think that if they had continued that on it would have been cool but then they just like end it and it's like okay like what what was even the point of that it, it you know um yeah it just and and even like the stakes felt like too grand like it felt like there's too much at stake, so nothing was at stake because you knew nothing was gonna happen at the end. Like yeah. you know, like you're like it's, okay. it's kinda, it kind of sucks though. The Infinity War kind of fucked. I mean, the the End Game kind of did ruin everything because now it's all tied together. So you know, you have well, to I, I think I think that's I think it's good, but it, I think you also have to have like if you're Marvel, you have to start really kind of evaluating what you want to put out. And how you want to tell it uh, with a multiverse? I mean, they're they're going to be able to do a lot of stuff. And but that's the thing: if they don't if they don't pull off Spider Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange off right, uh, they're going to screw it up. They're going to, and people are going to notice because there's a lot of moving parts, and people love plot holes, and people love going in and being like, "Oh, why'd you do that? That doesn't make any sense." And so I think if you're Marvel and you're putting out million billion dollar movies. Uh, you don't have to make everything make sense, but you better make the big stuff make sense. You know, uh, that's yeah, just my two yeah. cents on. It. I just, I just, you know, I think like everyone else, I'm getting a little burnt out. Like, like you know, like horror movies right now. The way they made this one, like, I'm, I'm at the scene with Big John, Little John, and they are married. They're, they're, they're because uh, Little John has a, a ring, a wedding, wedding mm -hmm. ring on, and um, so they're they're married. And then I mean, it's a scene where the the kids are scaring them. So. You spend a lot of time with little John, and you're right. You did. The, he Michael Myers does kill a kid because yep. the kid wears the mask. He runs into the house. He comes out as a skeleton, and then you see him later. Like I didn't, even, I never, I didn't click it until you said it, and I was like, oh yeah, he did. But I knew it was a third one. I just forgot who the third one was, and it wasn't until right now. I'm like, oh, there he is. There he is. 
And then, um, and then you have the little John, big John, you start hearing them that, and then they start, you know, getting mad and they cuss at the, they cuss at the kids and shit. But like, you get, you get three scenes with little John and big John. And I'm like, are they putting it there? So you can like have a, a sympathy for them when they die. Or is it because he's in there, they're in the house. I think it's because, because they're in the house and they make the house such a big deal. He's coming home. Even in the first Halloween posters, yeah. the, no, night yeah, he the, the night he came home. So you you're know? right. So I think that's, that's the thing they're giving you the home. I like that. I like if that's the angle. No. And that's what we're picking up. I think that's awesome. I, I think that that's that's it. And it was just like another little kind of subplot. There's a lot of a lot of little stories going on in this movie too. That you know they didn't necessarily come together. Like I, I don't know. They did and they didn't. It's weird. It's weird. I, I I do like just the way that everything kind of moves in this movie. I like the I, it. It's very fluid. It is. It's not yeah. very choppy. It, it's it's getting to the point. You know where you're at. You know what's going on. It's just like, can you believe that this is uh, all this crazy stuff is happening? You know, that's that's really where they uh, they kind of get me here. Like, I, I feel like I said, man, it's it's a great story, great acting. Um, it's just the I think they overdid it with the dialogue, with the it ends tonight, and just like how how they have the how they have Tommy act and how they have everybody act is sometimes overdone. And I, I don't fault the actors on this one at all. I, I think all the actors did a fantastic job. Um, I think it's just of, you know, how they're saying, like what the director told them to do. I think yeah. it's just a little overdone, you know? So I'm, um, I'm going to do the, while you're talking, I'm going to do a little cheating real quick because you okay. know who they keep, they bring up a lot. And I think this is why they do that. Cause like I didn't see 2018 and I keep bringing that up. It's obvious, mm -hmm. but they keep bringing up Ray, the the dad. And that, I think they do that because, cause I'm like, I'm just looking at the, the daughter and, um, <laughs> uh, and I'm like, you, you went from like not having a broken leg to having a broken leg. Uh, Allison, I'm, I'm thinking about her, like, cause you couldn't, you had to go like, you know, I, I, I can't believe I brought my, it's so odd. Like, I brought my son to the belly of the beast. Then get the hell, keep driving. Yeah, bro, you're in like, the car, man. Yeah, you just have leave. that conscious, but it's a movie. We have to because guess what? We as people, we would drive off, but in the movie, you got to see it so you know. Oh, that's why you drive off. So that's why you have that gut feeling, and that's why movies help out. That's why movies are here to to help us really, you know, kind of help put things. In. They're not all right. They're not all serious, but that's if you get that gut feeling, that's how it is. Yeah. Oh wait. So was 2018 was is it an exact remake of 20 of Halloween of some, No, 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 it's 40 years later. Oh, okay, okay. So we're doing so it's basically one It's a sequel to Halloween. Okay. So the 1978 version happens and then 40 years later Michael escapes. From what I understand, 40 years later Michael escapes and then comes and terrorizes Lori again. And oh. Halloween 2, however many Halloweens were in between the first one and 2018, nothing. All retconned. Oh, dude. Okay. I'm watching. I'm, I'm watching. Is that the uh, case? That's, yeah. That's, that's kind of how I picked up on it. I think you're right. I think there is a backstory because I'm watching the kill counts real quick. There's a, there's a two minute and 55 second movie. Okay, and you can kind of tell the story through kill counts, and I think they show you like Michael Myers is old. Yeah, because even in this one, like he has gray hair and stuff. You yeah, can, don't, don't see his face. Him. I think you no. see his face in the. This, I gotta watch this twenty eighteen one now. I gotta, I gotta see what he's because it, it, it's it's the way he walks around, the way he, it's creepy, dude. It's creepy as fuck, yep. and the way the deaths are really cool, man. They're really thought out. One thing I had, okay, so you have a character playing Michael Myers, right? Yeah. And then you also in the IMDb you have somebody called the shape. Yeah. So I think that's the shadows. I've been trying to figure that out. Okay. I never understood that. I was I was trying to figure that because it's in the 20 uh the the new one and the old one. Like you yeah. you get that in both. And I, I was just curious on what's what's the difference? Like why couldn't you just have the character playing Michael be the shape as well? Like, is there a difference between the shape and Michael Myers? The shape, no, well, I'm thinking, I think uh, there for credit purposes, I think that's why you have to give it the shape. 
Sorry, dude. Nope. I, I, and like, I know people listening, like, am I ruining the kills for me for 2018? I've ruined a few of them. Yes, I stopped. I didn't watch the whole thing. But as I'm watching, I'm like, is it? I'm just trying to get glimpses of the story. It, yeah, I think it. I think it literally is 1978. Then it goes 2018, and then it's 2021 and 2022. So I'm assuming they're all going to be the same night, night two, yeah. three, and four. But the first one is its own. It's the 78, and then okay, cool. Yeah, I think we. I think this one we figured it out. Sorry, we just like yeah. this show. We just figure it out as we go. Um, I don't. I don't like doing too much research, and I like sharing. And also, because as I was telling uh, Ben before we started, I was listening to um, our Kevin Smith podcast, and you literally like hear me, like Ben, like like guide me through the views queue. I didn't, I seen all the movies, I just didn't know they all were connected. So I was like, oh, they all are in the same universe. This is cool, and it's helped me. It's like it's helped me as a filmmaker, like like, like a lot. But um, that's why I like that the show that I don't like doing too much research because if I come in with this research I picked up recently. I like I like stuff that sticks in my head from like way back, and I'm and I like to recheck it to make sure I'm still you know right. But you know, it's just like watching a movie for the first time. You you can't really if it, if it affects you like right away. You're like I hate it. Maybe you're not in the best mood to watch a movie. But we're watching. A, I watched the, I watched it like not even like I literally watched it. And then I started talking to Ben. So I watched it this morning, and man, I I I was like at first I was like okay, this movie's gonna like the firefighting thing really did. I was like let me see where we're going with this. But I didn't hate it. I liked the scene that you, they they gave us right before that, where you where they showed the 1978 uh, street version, you know. And the mm -hmm. one thing I got to say from the first one and this one, the two comparisons, um, the music, man, John Carpenter, really, like as soon as I started getting more into that music of the uh, Halloween Kills, I was like, this is a badass fucking movie. Like, this is this is keeping me here. This mm -hmm. is this is like, he's getting me with the audio. He's getting me with the, and you're oh. right, the acting, the Michael Anthony Hall acting is is that Tommy is is fucking annoying, man. I hate yeah. that, but he's so good. And Lonnie yeah. too. Now I'm actually more pissed off at Lonnie because Lonnie has all these guns and he's like supposed to be a badass. He's it shows you he's not a badass. He's like you got permits for these. Oh, half of these. Like it's yeah, amazing. Right. Like, like they've been prepared for. They haven't been prepared. They just got guns and like you get your son killed too, man. You didn't even train. And it's funny because they both have like the long hair. And now that I'm finding out that they were in the original, like in the 2018 version, and they survive and they die in this one, I'm like, okay, this is a horror movie. Hell yeah! Like, don't get attached too much to your characters. Yeah. Because you never know when they're gonna go. Well, I just and you. You know there's going to be a third, and you almost assume that they're going to make it. You know, like I would, I would, I would assume that he wouldn't have killed Karen. Like that was that honestly, honest to God, was a surprise. Um, so she got it though. I'll, I'll she, she, when know. she was looking out the window, I was like, I go, he's going to get her, and I, I can't yeah. wait to get her. And I know they're going to show it. I go, like, yeah, she deserves it. Lindsay, yeah. también, Allison, I mean, también. Like this is like they're all like. I mean, she's got to kill the. There's one more he hasn't gotten from the original. Is a um, what's her name? The one that survived. The one that hid. And that's what I do like too. Like she, she watched. She's watching him. She's hiding. He can't see her, so he keeps going. And she's like, "That. What, what would you have done? Like, would you have like waited? Like, like I, because I, I would have been. I would have been fucked. I would have waited till light." <laughs> yeah. So there, there's a because like I, I did get into a bunch of um, stories of uh, like you know people going camping and stuff, and it's just on on YouTube. You just hear them, you know, horror stories, and mm -hmm. um, a lot of there's so there's stories of like people like that they camp out and then something's chasing them and they get in like a little cave and they barricade themselves and they wait all night. <laughs> And then they get in the morning, and the damn thing's still waiting for them. You know, it's like, damn. You know, like a crocodile. You know, like a saltwater crocodile. Those, those are aggressively known for attacking humans. And um, if you're, you know, those are like Australia. But yeah. um, like, you know, the stories from the outback where people are getting stuck, stuck by one, and then they're like, I think it's been it's been over eight hours. I think it's gone. And then they throw a little rock, and it's still there. I'm like, holy shit! Like that's overnight. <laughs> like that shit trips me out. Like this is what they do. This thing feels like a. Um, like a like it's a, an animal or some kind of monster. Like it's like it's fucking its prey. It's like it, to me, I'm very confused with what is Michael Myers, and I like that. Yeah, I actually don't want a, a identified, uh, identified um, like what it is. I I just love the way that everybody fucks up and they die because of it. Like I love that. Like that's so real. Like who the hell do you? Do? She shoots the gun <laughs> in the car, and then she's like, "It's Michael." Like why that guy? I don't understand why he did. He got on the car. He got he was trying to take off, and then he doesn't drive. First off, if I was those two. And they they were like, "That's my street. I need to help." I would have been like, "I'm going home." Actually, scratch that. I'm going to the hotel, man. Uh, this is why we have oh. police right here. Uh, oh, I already got that's, that. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that, man. You know, I would have been Go to like, the hotel. I, I, why, why would I, why would I be like? Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, if I have neighbors I like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, if y'all are stupid enough to stay over there where there's a killer, uh, that's your own damn fault, in my opinion uh just being real life like i wouldn't be like yeah let's go kill this guy no man like 
the only, the only reason I wouldn't go to the hotel is if I'm being stalked. If I know something's coming after me. I, yeah, I, but I, Michael Myers had no idea about them. He had no idea about yeah, those sure. that couple. No, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying that, yeah. But I mean, the whole thing about them too. Yeah, they put themselves. So that's what I'm saying. It's like they, it's like swimming with sharks. You're like, oh, I got bit by a shark. Yeah, too. I went swimming with one. And Lori like, uh, was so dead set. She was like, "He's coming to get me. He's coming to get me." He didn't give a like damn. That. He's just I going like to that. the house. I like that they <laughs> have the story. So now, but that's why I mean, she basically that's what I was saying about the dad because I was trying to figure out when the dad died because I'm like, well, that's the main thing that she's pissed off about. They want to go get, and it's like, leave it alone. Like it's yeah. like sucks, right? It's like I mean, it, it is like it's like I don't want to like you know whatever, but. If like um if you get into a uh, a car accident you you know you, you might not want to buy the same vehicle and if you save survive it like normally you might want to buy the same vehicle kind of thing you know yeah but it's like I don't know it's like I don't know what I'm trying to say I just think it's like I'm I'm rewatching the scene you don't right here with keep it. making the same mistakes CJ yeah. that's what you're getting at is you Thank don't you, you don't you. you don't keep on jumping into the driver's seat if something screws well, that, you over that's the thing oh well, that's the first thing I noticed I'm watching the scene right now my first thing is the driver I go the driver doesn't get out of the car Mm-mm. the driver has to drive. <laughs> and also, what are y'all doing there? If I saw like the kids, like I love that they show it's not because kids are like that. You know, sometimes you got to say f these kids, man. Because it's and I didn't even think about it. There is a kid that he does kill a kid. Yeah, and he says he's playing like they say he's playing peekaboo with us. And she's like, "Who are you talking? What are you kids doing out here?" Like I don't know. If I and I'm just just saying, if I'm driving and I see kids like there, I'm like, you know, they might be in there with him. So I'm just gonna leave my alone. See, you know, like and and a, and a, 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 a in my opinion. If that was the scene, he's like, oh, we've been playing peekaboo with him all night. That should have scared the hell out of me. But I didn't give a damn about those kids. I was like, those little shits have been messing with people all night. Yeah, yeah I'm not I'm not saying that condones like I don't think they should die, but well, I just, I like that it, that they did that. It's like it's like I like to show <laughs> that. Like they don't, don't don't mess with them because Michael Myers can be whatever he can be. Like I'm I'm, I'm rewatching it again. Like so I'm saying she goes, Hey, yeah. she well, goes, What are you what are you guys out here? And they said, it's Halloween. We've been trick-or-treating. We got a whole bag of candy. You guys should be here. It's not safe. Yeah. You, you're going to kill me? Satan, not today. He goes, are you guys alone? Where, where are your parents? No, no, we're waiting for our friend. And there's a creepy man with a white mask. And he keeps like trying to play hide-and-seek with us. Yeah. And he, it, thinks, and he thinks he's a pervert. Uh, that, yeah, where'd you see him? He's just hiding behind those trees. And he's playing peekaboo. I mean, we're not three years old. Come on, man. Oh, look at here. Oh, hello, hello. And then they show you, like. It's like he's right there, man. That's got to be yeah. hella scary, dude. And he's right. Oh, well, he's behind the the SUV. But bro, this is this is 2021. Okay, those kids. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would have been like, uh, no, no, no. If you see somebody like that, you get the hell out of there, buddy. Okay, to you put this, you put, you get home. Stat. Put it, put it this way: um, we're not you and I are in sheltered, so there are sheltered people that have have no idea what Halloween is. Like, I mean, you just recently saw them. But you know, no, of uh, no Myers, not even right? that. I'm just talking about in real life. If those were my kids and they saw somebody like even on Halloween night uh, stalking around and, you know, following them. Uh, no, yeah, get get home, buddy. Uh, Dude, I, don't worry about your damn candy. I'll <laughs> buy you as much candy as you want. Get home. Okay, you know, hopefully, like, hopefully, hopefully they'll listen, uh, Ben, because being having, having a child is, is, uh, it's a lot harder, but what I'm trying to say is, you're right. You have to. Oh, I'll, to... I'll traumatize and be like, if you don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You you have to take um uh, things serious, and you got to let them know like what what the awareness are. Like well, those like, kids hey. were like ten to. Oh, but clearly, say, but clearly they're they're bastard children because they're yeah. freaking doing all this shit, and then they're yeah, all little shits. Not, they're little shits, man. So you got to scare yeah. them. But I I just actually I it, my mind's blown that an actual little kid died. That's. It's cool because even like a lot of directors that um, saw, I think it was, was it Tom Carmen? Or I don't know, but the ones that saw um, uh, The Blob, people were like, oh, wow. Because like, I saw too, like a kid dies in this. That's cool. Like in the remake of The Blob. And then uh, I thought it was cool that they're watching um, The Thing on, mm-hmm. in 1978. Now I'm trying to, was The Thing made? What was The Thing made? I thought it was 1980. No, uh, no. Okay. So you're talking right, about the, the original the, Halloween? Yes. So that was a 1950s movie. It was called The Thing from Outer Space. Yes. And but so the, John Carpenter made The Thing in 19... Yeah, a couple... Well, no. Uh, I, know, I know he did that. I, I, I'm just saying that it's kind of cool that he did that. He's like, look at like my next... I kind of used you in a way. So Yeah, yeah. So I kind of told you what I want to do next. So The Thing is a movie in Halloween. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Oh, wait. The TV show, The Thing. Because it, it also showed the way The, the Thing... Because John Carpenter copied the the same title sequence yeah yeah so you're right 1951 kenneth toby margaret sheridan 
And then The Thing, 1990, 1982, Kurt Russell, Wilford Brindley, R.I.P. Wilford. Right. I thought that was hilarious when they when they have it on South. I mean, on that's what like like when one of those jokes happens on uh, Family Guy. I mm-hmm. thought that was like he's like they had Wilford Brimley at the Kids Teen Choice Awards. I was like, why the hell is he doing there? <laughs> like, it's like that's <laughs> kind of funny, but you know that's like thing you like, take something up. Uh, you know, take a, 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 a. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but Michael Myers, like the way he just kills all these people and the way he does, he does everything. Like this movie, like for the kills are great. The way for um the way it's told the way that there's not really like an annoying character you know you do yeah. you do feel for the johns man i do feel bad like when they get killed because but i like i mean he basically just comes up to him and get, like i don't know dude you don't separate man i would i would stay in a room yeah. i'd be like no. i'd be like we, okay first of all we're not staying in this house anymore no. like i i you know it's just see we know that as people but when they, we're in the situation you know because stories like that do happen you know like when i first started learning how to drive like They'd be like, be careful with parked cars. I'd be like, they're fucking parked cars. How am I gonna? And I'd rake a no parked car. I'd be like, oh shit. Like, yeah. how do I do this? It's like, it's like a little bump. You know, it's like a little, like, like where you, like, you reverse and you don't leave a little, you don't, you don't leave enough space or, or ahead of you. You're like, boop, you pump it. You're like, oh, that's what they mean. Watch out for parked cars. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, CJ, you getting about ready to review these? I'm gonna have to go in about 10 minutes. <laughs> you have to go to work? Yeah. Oh, dude, I totally forgot. I, we we yeah. wasted an hour. Yeah, let's do this. Well, this uh, this thing. See, so Halloween's budget was three hundred thousand to three hundred and twenty-five thousand, and it's now sixty. To, it made sixty to seventy million in box office. It killed. So that's why yeah. this movie. That, that's why this one. This, I don't even know what this says. Oh, okay. Halloween kills. I'll check this out. This is where the fans come in. Budget twenty million. Box office one hundred and thirty million dollars. I just paid twenty million. million. That's 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 respect. I mean, that's not like mm-hmm. trying to. That's that's a good amount. Like not think, too crazy uh, high. I feel like that's reasonable. I think that's a great amount right there. Yeah. Um, it's not too high. It's not too low. Jamie um, Lee it, Curtis must not have been asking for too much. Well, she probably, they probably, she's only in a little bit. So it's probably, it was oh, true. <laughs> true. Yeah. So, you know, they have to, they probably, every, she's like, it's a 5 billion every scene. Um, no, I'm joking. Uh, the, <laughs> I think, I think for what, what we're doing for the rating on this, um, it's clearly simple. Um, I'll go first. And yeah. uh, with Halloween, 1978. The um, IMDb rating for that is a 7.7 7 out of 259,000 votes. Ah, Rotten Tomatoes. Let's see here. Halloween. Wow. Uh, Halloween. Wow. Uh, two, 1978. Okay. Wow. All right. So Halloween 1978 is certified fresh on the tomato meter is a 96% out of 78 reviews and an audience score of 89% out of 250 plus ratings. All right. Our critics consensus on Rotten Tomatoes is scary, suspenseful, and visceral, viscerally thrilling. Halloween set the standard for modern horror films. And I wholeheartedly agree with all of those statements. Um, yeah, do you do you want to do the ratings for uh, Halloween, Halloween Kills? kills. Or Halloween Kills. All right, Halloween Kills. Out of uh, IMDb rating, be rating with fifty seven thousand people, they got a five point seven out of ten. Okay. Um. So over wow. here on Rotten Tomatoes, uh, Halloween Kills uh, uh, has a forty one percent on the tomato meter out of two hundred and fifty reviews. And a sixty-six percent audience score out of two uh, out of twenty-five hundred verified ratings. Uh, on our critics, we have two on this one. We have critics consensus and audience says um, critics consensus. Halloween Kills should satisfy fans in search of a brute slasher thrills, but in terms of advancing the franchise, it's a bit less than the sum of its bloody parts. Okay, audience says Halloween Kills doesn't do much to move the Michael Myers saga forward. But viewers looking for a hardcore horror of violence won't be disappointed. I I have to wholeheartedly agree with that one. I don't necessarily agree with the tomato tomato meter score. Um, but both of those reviews are, you know, they're not they're not damning. They're just the audience what I'm okay with. The audience when it says Halloween kills, yeah. It doesn't do much. I mean, it, I'm like, okay, maybe. The critics consensus. <laughs> I think that's mm-hmm. stupid. It's not a slasher like you think it is. Like no, this is, this is a modern day. This is this is they've tightened it up. There's like there's a lot of gore out there, and they could have gone a hundred million ways with this. But the way they told the story, I'm like, this is awesome. Um, Halloween Kills is gonna get a, um, not a 41. Yeah, it's nah. low, man. This is way better than a 41. Like, I, I mean, we walked like we're literally walking into this movie. Like, I didn't watch. Now I'm gonna watch 2018 sometime today or tomorrow, 
and I'm just so I can catch up with it, and that way I can be ready for Halloween ends. But I've, I've seen like I, I get, like I haven't been on social media that much, um, other than I mean posting, but I haven't been reading a lot of people. But when Halloween Kills came out, everybody was just like talking shit, and I'm like, okay, let me watch it. When we watch it, uh, I'll, I mean, I'm sorry. When I watch it, we'll see what's up. And I guess ah. like, that's what I mean. I walked in with a with a mindset of like I'm gonna I'm gonna either like it or I'm not. But I got to make that decision for myself. Just to give you perspective, uh, Halloween 2018 is uh, 79% certified fresh on tomato meter and a 70% audience score. So, um, and then the critics consensus, I'll go ahead and read it. Halloween largely wipes the slate clean after decades of disappointing sequels, ignoring increasingly elaborate mythology in the favor of basic yet still effective ingredients. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll take that. Because yeah. those, because you have all those ones. You have one two three this is this is the 12th one halloween uh ends will be the 13th so he's, ah. he's, cre he's creepingly got up there because also now when i think about it halloween resurrection it mm -hmm. was a bad movie i thought it was kind of cool plus it rhymes when i was a kid but you know like they had like uh is that like h2 h h20 no, no, is that h2o is, is john hartman i thought that one was good i like that one okay uh, but now like when i when i think about it, like like teen, teeny popper slasher that kind of is like kind of like that get the heart throb and Kind of put them in a movie situation like that but like you know i like i like horror movies that they can go anywhere with like you can do literally anything you want in a horror movie like we found out in scream because uh you know randy talked about horror movies like he yeah. dies in scream too and even we, he's even watching halloween while he is yeah, you know, yeah. and then well, yeah exactly he sets the standard right so check, yeah. check, check, check this out in the, in the second one he dies and the third one he comes back as a video but he even says the rules in the third one don't apply like everybody's on the chopping block you know sydney prescott's yeah. always survived she's the one that will but but I, I mean, like, like in movies and, and horror movies. Uh, this movie's, I mean, it was taught well. It was, it was well, well made, um, well spoken, well told. What you got? What you got for Halloween? What you got for Halloween Kills, Mister Ben? First off, uh, before we go into these reviews, uh, we have a new Scream movie coming out next year, and I just want to go ahead and voice my predictions for that. That uh, Sydney Prescott is going to be the killer in the new Scream movie. Oh uh, wow, you are ready going there. You I'm are, already going there, man. Taking that band-aid right off. Well, dude, I that's the only that's like the only thing that I could think of that would be like, oh my god, Sydney. You know, yeah, like you know, uh, know, that's that's the only kind of like surprise, oh my gosh, this is how it happened, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but that's that's just my guess. I could be wrong, but back to Halloween. So Halloween 1978, um, and just so everybody knows, uh, here on Side by Side, we give a patented 13, uh, 0 to 13, or 1 to 13 score, because um, we do not believe that any movie is worth a 0. Um, so, 1 to 13, Halloween, I'm going to give it an 11. Uh, it's a solid movie. It's a solid movie, not even... As a horror play. movie, it's it's just uh, thank you because you, uh, you did this. I forgot. I was like, I did. <laughs> we don't give no zeros. <laughs> no zeros. Uh, yeah, man. No, I really enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was it was scary. It you know it was entertaining. Uh, even even forty years later, forty three now. I mean, I I feel like it totally holds up. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a very cool movie uh the deaths are they're not you know over the top but they get the job done you get to see some killing you get to see some slashing you get let's be real you get to see some titties it's great you know it's a fun 1978 movie um now with halloween kills i'm gonna give it a solid eight i think it's a it's it's a fine fine movie i did i enjoyed it i thoroughly did i just i don't know i think an eight is where where it's going to kind of settle for me uh that i feel like the acting was great i just there was there's something there's something missing there there was i think the evil dies tonight was a little too much evil uh, dies tonight halloween you know, evil dies tonight they should have called it that halloween evil dies tonight that would have been better or Halloween dies, you know, like oh, yeah. instead of well, kills. Like, or how about dies hard? Um, I think. Uh, I, I think. You, I, I, what's up? You go for it. What now are that your scores? That, now that I know there's a 2018 version, like I knew there was something like that, but I, I was like, I think there, I just don't know what it was called. It's just Halloween. I like now. I'm happy that we put 1978 in Halloween Kills because it it totally clears clears it up. It was an accident. Oh, sorry. See, my little table. I got a new table. It's little. And it, 
really does well. But uh, <laughs> Halloween is these are simple for me. I am a filmmaker. I am a, I am a writer. I like doing all this stuff. Um, this is this is real simple for Halloween with me. And I do watch horror movies and I go to horror conventions. Halloween is an astonishing fifteen on my scale. On, only as I go back and watch this, I'm like, this is such a stalker movie. It's so like it's layered. It's layered really nice and fine. It's taking its time to get to you. And when you finally get to that release, that, 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 all oh, that, it's payout so well. Sweet, sweet, that nectar you get. Mm -hmm. um, even the death scenes, they're really like, even the guy who gets pinned up, like it's, it's 1978. Think about it. Like this is, this is, the, this is, this is, this is the new, the new scope we're looking through. So we're going to go through it, you know, and, and this is the way we're seeing things. And you don't see Michael at the end. Like you don't know. Like you're, it's it's ambiguous. It's an ambiguous ending too. So that's always, you know. It, it, I mean, she stabs cool. him. Lori stabs him. Doctor Doctor Loomis shoots him. And Doctor mm -hmm. Loomis, yeah, yeah, he does a um, does a great. He does, he does a great job. A, a great, um, great job because I think uh, with uh, Donald Pleasance, I think um, as they they did the, the remake of Halloween Kills, the mm -hmm. way he looks, it looks pretty spot on. Yeah. Which I saw a meme that somebody posted online, and I was like, damn. And I saw a movie, I was like, damn, he looks. Looks like he looks in the in the in the, the first one. Looks like he looks, looks. I mean, looks like him. Looks like Donald Pleasant. Um, Halloween Kills. I'm not gonna lie, man. I I I thought it was gonna be like after that Fire Friday scene. I was like, ooh, it's kind of an eight or a nine. But yeah, I'm, I'm okay with your score. But not. Nah, it's like a twelve, dude. Okay. Like for for horror movies, like I I, I mean, I, I wouldn't even say I would tiptoe and say this is almost a thirteen for me. And because what's up? Let's let's just uh, preface my scores by saying as we did before, I'm not the biggest like horror movie fan, so. Typically, yeah. they're gonna be. I'm not. I'm not gonna give them like 100 percent scores. On yeah, and I'm. I'm also a sci-fi guy, so I'm, I'm yeah. a sci-fi geek. So I go. I'm. I'm more of a uh, like like athlete geek guy. So I like sports movies and and. Uh, but I don't like those aren't like my bread and butter. But like I like sci-fi and then like uh, horror, but also like you know like we were talking about Marvel in this in this you know it's mm -hmm. kind of like you know Futurama. Like I, I like you know like stuff like that. Um, but it's also the horror. Like I, I think that's what really helped me understand movies and cinemas and now being an independent filmmaker and myself writing horror movies i'm like yo i can i know what i can do i know where i can go um but this really does a good job um i love the way they did this and now i'm gonna watch now i, now I do like uh, halloween ends now for me it's gonna have the annie's gonna be high man because i'm gonna go watch 2018 <clears throat> and literally i mean i'm literally i, I just like we could have done a side by side with that we didn't and it still f makes makes sense to I'm, me. I was able i'm glad we didn't honestly yeah. that way we can kind of we were able to see like an original movie and then a sequel of a sequel of the original movie. Yeah. And it's still, it's still like you were still able to understand what was going on. That's yeah. the, that's the great thing about it. It's like, it's just like, okay, it's Michael Myers. I mean, it wasn't going to be the hardest thing to jump into and just be like, okay, yeah, I know what's going on, but still, I, I like that it was easy to jump into. And I mean, I've always, yeah. I've always liked, um, you know, Jason Voorhees and, that 2009 you know, remake, I thought it was like, I was like, it wasn't that bad. I get it. It was, a, it's a movie. But then now that like I picked up, I watch other people like uh, talk about it and critique it. I picked up things like he's a human in that movie. So like the things he does are, are human nature, and you just have to pick him up by the surroundings and see what he does. And that's what I like when you just see Michael doing doing the <coughs> like very very like robotic, like like he's mm. meant I gotta kill. Like it's like it's like I have this itch. Being an addict, I'm like I I gotta I gotta I want that I want that I want that, but it's like you, I learn other things. Like I was telling Ben before, like you don't lose being an addict; you just put it somewhere else. So <laughs> that's why I have all this vulnerability, you know. <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah, I will give it a 12, man. Like, and the only reason, like I said, I didn't know about the 2018 version, so it's pretty close to a 13 online. But this is this is probably my two double movies for um, Daddy McBride's also part of it. So right, sorry, boy. So um, that being said, are you going to be able to make the next like? I don't know if we're gonna. Are we, I can do one next week, but I don't know if you do because of, because of Thanksgiving. But uh, uh, I I don't think I'm gonna be able to do one next week, and I think I may be able to do like one during December. I, I hate to kind of limit us a little bit, but uh, I, you, yeah, I'm you, just you gonna got, be yeah. crazy busy. Yeah, you got stuff to do, and um, what do you call it? So I'll do this. Let's we'll wait. We'll wait for you, but pick the next two movies, and I'll get someone to do the episode. Like I said, okay. I'm gonna keep this keep the weekly going. We didn't. We didn't mean to miss three weeks. I just it just happens. Like I just yeah. time nowadays, and he's we were we were just checking up on each other, and and uh, I forgot. I mean, I went to Rhode Island. They didn't like the, they y'all didn't know, so I left. So it was kind of my fault. I was kind of like uh, I was like, uh, well, I gotta go, oh. and you know, so because uh, I was kind of I was giving this hush hush. I was, it was a, it was a good surprise. But um, what was I gonna say? So I was thinking since we brought him up earlier, and maybe I could get and I, I did say sci fi, and 
I can get somebody to watch this. I was thinking, what if we do put um, Red Planet and Mission to Mars next to each other? Bro, I thought you were about to say Star Wars. I was about to be pissed. Oh, dude, um, yeah. That's who Mandalorian is. <laughs> uh, dude, I, uh, I, I, can't, I can't be on the podcast. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get Star Wars in there. Uh, remember, remember, I, uh, that, you know, there he is. R2D2, Yoda, baby Yoda, but I, Roku. Oh, that's an awesome shirt. You know, like we're showing. I mean, I wear, I'm wearing this because I got cold, but I was wear, I was gonna wear my. It's a <laughs> that, that reminded me of Happy Gilmore. One of his. It's not, it's not my it. shirt. It's Carl's. <laughs> that is correct. Damn. Hey, that's, hey, hey, that's my shirt. Get it back. <laughs> okay, that's me, all Harry. Um, I'll say, yeah. Let's. I'll say, let's. Oh well, I'm I'm getting ready to watch more Star Wars. So I do um, watch Star Wars. I just also watch Star Trek. Um. But nowadays it's just like too much, man. There's too much. I just like I just watch when I stumble into it nowadays. So do you think are you cool with Red Planet or do, do you want I want you to yeah. pick? Are no, no, no. Gonna... I think I think Mission to Mars and Red Planet would be a a good one, especially coming off of John Carpenter and what I what we mentioned uh, earlier is like I feel like the John Carpenter Ghost of Mars was originally like John Carpenter's gonna get his movie made and then somebody else was like, That's a cool script. Write me a write me a sample of something like that, you know, and give me a give me a good story. Okay. You know, um, so that's that's kind of how I feel like those two movies came about is like they they saw the production of John Carpenter's movie and like, OK, we have to get these out before that comes out. This is going to be a hit. John Carpenter isn't shit. We're going to show them, you know, that's yeah. in, in my I, mind. Like, that's how I think it works. I, and I think and I think you're I'm OK with that, with that, the way you're saying it, because it's like John Carpenter is like like, you know, his mind. That's what you're right. It's called John Carpenter's this and. Like I was saying, Ghost of Mars should should have been they should have done Resident Evil like that. That's how they should have told Resident yeah. Evil. Like well, that, that's all the the movies, but they exactly. wouldn't do the action anyway. Well, and the great thing about Red Planet and Mission to Mars is if if you take that idea from John Carpenter, but don't don't give him credit for it, then you get all the money. Whereas you know, like John Carpenter said, you you got to cut that check for him if if yeah. you have Michael Myers and Halloween kills. And so at twenty million dollars. How much of that cut is going to him? I wonder if it's like a George Lucas thing where he's just, uh, you know, no, racking he, in he, the he, merchandising. He's, he's not making off the twenty million dollars. He's making off the hundred and thirty million dollars. And that's where it is. That's where it is. That's where that's he's not. Yeah, he, they don't they don't they don't pay him the the front. They pay him the back costs. Like, so we're gonna do. I don't even know which one came out first because it's just two thousand. And I think Ghost of Mars came out two thousand one. Yeah, it did. Th- uh, I, think, I think he was. Red Planet, the Mission of Mars. I think Red Planet. All right, so we got Red Planet coming in. So next, next time you see us, it's going to be me with someone else. I already have people lined up, so what Ben can get it because start with so say so, uh, so, uh, I'm not going to make yeah. Ben say, it, but like Ben said it here before we started. He goes, "We're going to hit January hard," and I'm like, "Yeah, we are. We're hitting January really hard." So um, we got Red Planet 2000 PG 13, one hour 46 minutes. It's an action sci-fi thriller. Astronauts and their robotic dog Amy uh, on it's it have its spelled out autonomous mm-hmm. mapping elevation and evasion uh search for solutions to save a dying earth by searching on mars only to have the mission go terribly overall um uh, director anthony hoffman writers chuck Farrer, jonathan lemkin stars dog killer carrie ann moss tom sizemore and then we're we going to do that with mission to mars 2000 pg one hour forty five, uh, one hour forty fifty four minutes, adventure sci fi thriller. Uh, when the first man mission to Mars meets with the with a casta- ah, catastrophic and mysterious disaster after reporting an unidentified structure, a rescue mission is launched to investigate the tragedy and bring back any survivors. Mm. Director Brian De Palma, writers Lu- Luel Cannon, Jim Thomas, and John Thomas. Uh, stars Tim Robbins, Gary Sinise, and Don Cheadle. So that's all from IMDb. So we're running out of time here. We yeah, we got we got we got two hours. That's not bad. We got there. We we hit our spot. Um, we we uh, oh we were just catching up. That I think that's yeah. also like that's also mm-hmm. some of my favorite time is the stuff that's not recorded. I like yeah. uh, I actually like uh, even when I do interviews like with celebrities or whoever. I just I, that's the stuff I don't record is the stuff that I love because I want to hold on to that. I recorded. Mm-hmm. You know, I could go back. Like I was saying, I go back and watch our own episodes. I'm like, all right, cool. I said that. And he said this, and we have our we have reviews. It's cool, but uh, I do like that. That you know, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll keep this going. I'll keep the fire burning while Ben is Thank gone. You. Thank and then, you. And then uh, and then when he gets back, he's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it hard. Get it hard. He's gonna get it on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to stretch out till we hit at least two hours. I'm like, we got one minute, so I'm gonna hold Ben on for one minute. We're gonna do rapid fire questions now. Are you ready, Ben? Yeah. 
Go for it. All right, go for it. Um, so we're gonna do um, Pepsi or Coke. Coke. Um, we're gonna do. Do you prefer um, spicy Asian food or non-spicy Asian food? Non-spicy. Non-spicy. Um, let's see. Favorite Marvel char character. Captain America. Favorite comic book character in general. Mm, see, I didn't really read all the many comic books growing up, but probably Spider Man. Spider Man. I think that one. That one's like probably everybody's favorite comic book. Spider Man animated series or X Men animated series. X Men because it's getting a revival. Ah, oh, okay. Um, yeah, on Disney Plus, it's X Men ninety seven is the name of it. Oh, so we're going into the uh, now we're we're jumping from the genre from eighties to the nineties. Oh, they're, this would be awesome. They're going to show us how we're supposed oh. to how we're supposed to be we're kids all nineties out. Yeah, and and that that's so we're going to no, go it's it's picking up apparently right where it left off with the uh, the apocalypse X -Men. now. Oh no, wait. no, like the X Men animated series. Oh, we're getting a oh, is that why we have, God? I, I there was a meet and greet and I missed it this past weekend. I I'm yeah. telling you, man, my my time I've had meetings. And I'm just like, okay. And now I'm like, but I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, oh wait, things I've got to do slipping through my hands, um, slipping through my fingers all the time. I, I, I honestly think I got one today too, but I don't know. That's on TikTok. <laughs> I don't know the song, but you know. All right, brother. Well, end it here. I'll see you later. <laughs>